Hello? <coughs> okay, I just got a phone call right now. What the fuck is this? Hello? Oh my god. Okay. I'm getting calls from, from like a robot. This message is from the Norwegian Police Service. 
Blah 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 blah. You have been uh, your phone has been used for ordering drugs. You have to contact us at uh, this va totally valid, not scam link. Okay. All right, man. Thanks. Morons. Anyways, yeah. So uh, scam scam calls aside, uh, we are going to do the we're going to be playing Lunacid today. Lunacid. Hold up. Okay. Lunacid is a fantastic game um, that has a lot of post-game secrets that I'm trying to... Dude, my hair looks weird. Uh, that I'm trying to fix today, or like do today. Um, there's a language of symbols uh, that I have to translate. There's... Yeah, some other secrets. Um, I'll go into them as I play right now. I don't want to read in the chat uh, today at all, because if I do, I might get spoiled on a secret and that would be terrible. So I'm going to be... Alerts are muted today, so I can't hear your don't- Actually, I I'll keep them on. Because I will- because I will be reading them at some point anyways, but yeah. I- I will- I will- yeah, whatever. Let's have them on. For the time being. But chat is gonna be off, because I don't want to be even remotely spoiled of this game, because it's a very- I've I'm starting to really, really like the game, and I don't want any- I don't want any spoilers. I'm also starting early today. And I usually don't stream this early, but I'm sick. Like, I, I feel like ass. <laughs> so, I figure, well, if I can't edit or I can't do anything like that, I guess I might as well stream, right? It's doing the time. There we go, the game. Alright. Hope you get well soon, Bingo. Thank you. Karasan. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing Lunacid. Uh, we are 8-11-2023, Joshua. Oh, start game, okay. Load file. Okay, I'm turning off chat now. Turning off preview, turning off chat, goodbye. I'm gonna tell you where we are in the game. Two years. Two years. True. Two years. Uh, thank you for the sub. Harp cycle. Okay, so we beat the game, but there's more to do. We have found a, for example, not a spell, it's an item called VHS tape. Wait, no, it's an item, it's not a weapon. There we go. VHS tape, which is kind of unfitting here. An old strange box. Its function was forgotten long ago. So we got a VHS tape. Uh, that's one thing I haven't figured out what to do with. We also have materials. Fractured death. A pale, transcendent gemstone. A dense vapor is caught inside. Said to be the first water. And then also, lastly, we got another item which I don't know what does. Um, instead of holy water, we can now have the... Dusty crystal orb. An ornately decorated crystal orb covered in a thick layer of unmovable dust that prevents you from looking into it. Perhaps at a later time the dust may fall, fall and reveal something, but that's no current use. Kind of looks like a moon, man. What the hell? Speaking of moon, um, I'm gonna try actually using one of these, like... Uh, what are they called? Moonlight Vial. There's another, like, a moon symbol other. Now we have full lunacy, for example. But I don't know what that does. But that is a thing. That is a thing. Suddenly got really bright. I don't know why. <coughs> Anyways. I don't, to, I don't have to farm those vials again. Speaking of lunacy, I read about that. I read about it in the in the manual, and I never figured out what the hell lunacy it can even is because it hasn't played a part in the game at all whatsoever. Also, there's a clock here, thirteen fifty. That's what the time is in real life. Never mind, it's not the in-game clock. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna read the game manual again. Let's see if I missed it. Now that I have played the entire game, uh, maybe there's something in the manual that will make make sense to me or will like tell me something. Um, uh huh. 
This product is known to cause other weird bugging effects such as lo losing touch with reality, lucid dreams, night terrors, and ta fan fantastic visions of an impossible future full of curses and magic and headaches. If you're if you are if you are a loved one you, if you are a loved one is affected with a, a skeleton, then these effects can become more pronounced. Thank you for purchasing the Lunacy software. Please glance through this manual before playing, especially the operation and safety precautions. It's so it's so I can't read this because it's so low rest though. It's like it's really difficult to read this shit. I'll read the entire thing though. There might be something. Photosensitivity slash epilepsy seizures. Read these notes before playing. A very small percentage of people may experience epileptic seizures or blackouts when exposed to certain kinds of flashing lights or light patterns. These persons or even people or even people who are have no history of seizures or, or epilepsy may experience epileptic symptoms or seizures while playing video games. If you or, or your relatives has an epileptic condition or has a seizure of any kind Consult your physician before playing any video game. Immediately discontinue. Uh, use and consult a physician if you or your child experience any sort of following, following symptoms. Dizziness, altered vision, eye or muscle twitching, involuntary movement, loss of awareness, disorientation, or convulsions. Parents should watch for, for or ask their children for above system symptoms. You may reduce risk of photosensitive epileptic seizures by taking the following precautions. Sit far away from the screen, use a smaller screen, play in a well-lit room, or do not play when you are... Okay, so that was just literally that. Never mind. Now, I read it now, so I'm going to do it again. Uh, two X tap plus... Sh sh oh, there's a, there's a back, move backwards thing. Shift plus move backwards. One day turn. Uh, swap quick items, one to three, yep. Yeah. Use quick item, interact. Swap weapon. Use right, yeah. Run, walk, jump, block, attack, move, look around. Yep. Yeah. Let's read this again. Uh, long ago, a great beast came from the sea, and it spread a poisonous fog across the earth. This event transformed the world into a new age, an age of magic, but also the age of death. Creatures and ab abominations came from the fog. Silver liquid fell from the moon and made the deep passage into the earth. As humans became destitute, having fought and lost to creatures throughout the many years, they created a great well, a series of pits and tunnels carved out by the silver moonlight. And into this sunken heap, they banished the abominations, creatures, and, and anything they else undesirable. A simple thief, one who would steal back their life, has just been thrown into this strange underworld. Uh, creation. Your avatar in this world may be, be a temp may be a temporary visage in a dream, but requires conviction nonetheless. Using the character creation menu. Here you can input your desired name and your avatar either and either select their appearance from the list of presets or use a custom PNG for further options. You can also select the avatar's preferred nouns here. Then you must choose a class, which will determine your avatar's base stats, elemental resistances, Footsteps and the unique gameplay aspects as detailed in the next page. Um, uh, hidden figure from the yeah, so the sort of classes. Should I read this? Whatever. They begin to with little but are adept at finding lost treasure. A valiant warrior, self as determined, albeit without a king, they excel at combat and find glory and violence. A cunning magic user with a penchant for the dark. They thrive with the Waxing of the moon. Waning. Waxing of the moon and feed off their own lunacy. A bloodthirsty creature of the night, awakened by hunger, regains health by inflicting damage, but blood regains much slower. Also takes damage in running water. Undead. A discarded corpse, unwanted by the world above, yet highly resistant to stubborn and stubborn. Cursed blood causes more damage when used as a weapon. 
Um, a child of noble birth, inexperienced but well equipped otherwise, their lineage, foretelling of importance, starts with silver currency, with more silver currency. Uh, cleric. A nurturing healer of pilgrim on a pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well, they put others first, for better or worse. Shinobi, a silent deadly sh shadow, sent to to, well, to assassinate. They care not for the corpses left behind, but only those ahead. Uh, Forsaken, a waste of flesh, notable for nothing less the dust it leaves behind. They have nothing to lose, driven forward only by self-loathing. Damn. Combat. There's a Giga Skeleton. Combat consists of attacking, blocking, and magic. E use this weapon often to your advantage. Uh, use this often to your... Okay. Attack with a weapon, uh, simply holding the attack button or and release. The further the power bar is charged, the more damage the attack will do, with a full charge resulting in a large damage bonus. Block with a melee weapon by pressing the block button if you, you take less damage while blocking, yeah, half damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Lunacy, here we go. <coughs> this is what I wanted to know about. Uh, the land is rife with various spells, each inscribed on rings that the player must equip to use. The spell is cast by holding and reusing the appropriate button. The spell will also need either mana or blood, depending on this type of, type of spell. Mana is recharged by interacting with the crystal menu. Blood regains naturally and by a crystal menu. Casting spells will also cause lunacy. Dependent on the, or dependent on the caster's maximum mana, spell cost, and this real-world lunar cycle. And the real-world lunar cycle. What? Okay. Lunacy causes more damage. Does it really do the real world? And the real world lunar cycle. Lunacy causes more damage to be inflicted, both by the player's spells and by creatures. It will also increase XP gained. Killing enemies grants XP displayed in the percentage on the status screen. At 100 or more XP, you can level up uh, your various stats. At the crystal menu. Some weapons can be leveled up into better ones by inflicting damage to monsters and breakables. To level up weapon, you must yeah take a smith, smith, smith grave. Status effects. Poison. Blood begins to spill. If damage is received before the blood loss is replenished, then the player's health will lower to the point of blood loss. Oh, okay. Though the ailment is not a fatal on its own. Poison. Constant damage over time on a percentage of the player's maximum health. Take care not to let it linger. Curse. A magical curse sustains the player's actions. Attacking will be impossible until the curse is lifted. Blindness. A darkening of the eyes. Extra light sources and, uh, such as torches will be useless as the darkness grows within you. Slowness. A paralytic curse which slows you down considerably. Some foes rely not on speed, but to seek to lower the victim's speed instead. Mild rain. A sapping of one's magical power. Much like poison, but only for a mind. Expedient. Direct withdrawal of your life and memories. Only observed around followers of the corrupted Golden Lands. Basic one's resistance that will cause all status effects to, to wane quicker. Uh, six elements. Normal, poison, fire, light, ice, dark. Enemies will have uh, varying resistance to certain elements, as well as you will, depending on your class. Some rare weapons spells can even use multiple elements. Yeah, we've seen that. Uh, not all NPCs are hostile. Many discarded souls have found their way into the Great Well over the years. While many became fer feral ghouls or aggressive creatures, some of the powerful have kept their sanity and art altruistic nature. Some can even be talked to and may offer items or services, while others may be, be docile creatures. Across your journey, you will often come across material items. These can be used as with alchemy to create potions and items, or potions or items. If you find alchem an, an alchemist, then you should try to co combining what you have on the three dials. If you place items into the mix, only viable mixtures or identical materials will appear selectable. Credits. Yeah. Welcome Akira. Ashley Nick, Sapro. Okay, we lost the entire manual. Um, so Lunacy is based on the real world lunar cycle. That's crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? So what is the... If I go to Google and search for like Lunar Cycle. Lunar Cycle. Moon Phases 2023. Uh, so now we're in a new moon. There's like no moon whatsoever. But in, in the 27th of November, there's a, there's a full moon. The Beaver Moon. So... Yeah, we have a waning crescent moon right now. That kind of sucks. I should probably set my date to the to full moon. 
I wonder if that works. If I send my, if I set the time of day to my computer to like to like twenty seventh of November, can I do that? Let's let's close the game and do that. Let's see what happens. Is the game is it is it real? Quick game. Let's get the lunar cycle. Goodbye. Uh, notification, state and time. Off. Now it's the 27th of November. Okay. <laughs> it's full moon. What will the game say about that? The, what, the moon is full, look at that! <laughs> no way! Yeah, look, it's full moon! It was just a little sketch before, now it's a full one. <laughs> Let's go. I wonder if that changes anything in the game. Uh, warp. Let's good. Let's just just look around. What has let changed? Does anything change? Is there anything or like is there anything notable? Would be interesting to see. Actually, I, no. I, the first thing I want to do. I want to go here. I'm gonna go to the temple of Abdul. Abdul. What's up? No. no. I, I set the spell, moron. Dog. Spirit warp, wind dash. Thank you, it actually worked. Okay, let's go. I think it was this way? What's up, dog? Well, this thing is terrible. Did this glow this much before? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. What's up in the temple? What's going on? Anything new? I can't see myself down there somehow. Okay, you can't see just you can't see see, see see like your stuff down there. Never mind. Okay. I thought this was like uh, so like if I couldn't see that ball in the reflection, that would mean that there's like a whole different. This is just like a different world or whatever. Anyways, no more skits. Sup? Sup, dogs? I'm getting lunacy from this. Was this from casting spells or whatever? Oh shit! I can't leave. Oh, bitch! Now, what does the lunar cycle change? Is anything here different? No. Wait, what? Is this different? Cruelty and action, but beyond its stems. 
Disciples wither at the truth of escape. They sought similarity. They blindly held my cloak as I lied them down the dark passages of life of death. But now I have carved a vessel. I have laid an, inca I have laid an incantation. Sacred rite uh, and blood sacrifice. The door is finally ajar, so slight enough that I may escape. This thing is upside down. Normally this is the other way around. Like, it's like down like this, but now it's upside down. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. For passage, 30 tokens of spite must be held by the traveler. These are given by the unnamed pr primordial god of cruelty whenever the deed is done which delights them. In my lifetimes, I've come upon several, which I have a list. And these are the ones. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of them, but there's like a lot of like little tasks you gotta do. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna just go do those. Um, one of the things I need to do is slay a beast of magic, which is most likely the Jotun. Uh, and there's a, there's an item I can buy called the Jotun Slayer. That, uh... It's in Radiance, yeah. I think I read about this Uxia at some point. I forgot what they said about it, though. I should start writing this down now. I'm gonna write it in my notepad. Uh, characters. What was the character's name? Uxviharad. Uh... Some sort of old thing with golden essence. Golden Uxviharad. Okay, that's my note on him. He's a golden, some golden big dog. Anyways, yep, yeah, 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 not done. That's, I'm not gonna write all that shit down. Fuck off! <coughs> Dogs. Hello. Hmm. Maybe something in the in home base changes with full moon. Let's talk to people. What's up? Nice of you to drop by. Oh, okay. Welcome back, friend. Yes. Here's the Jotun Slayer. Uh, it costs 350 coins. I don't really have that yet, so I gotta wait. I gotta, I gotta save some money. Exit shop. Human cried. On, the, on others maximum mana and the rear world lunar cycle hmm. yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm like crazy as fuck right now look at that I have like mega lunacy where can I get money fast where did they drop a lot of money here for Marina? These guys should drop a fair amount. Also, uh, one thing you wanted to do for the puzzles was desecrate a, a, a like thing to an old god or whatever. Uh, which means... Or like an elder being. Which could be the... Uh, Oh, I lost my lunacy. Next day. Which could be, um... Your mother? Um... Fuck, what was it again? Where I found the uh, sleeping, the slumbering one. Whatever. Goodbye, Gloombot. I sold power unlike any found above. 
And I think I found a source. But this power will take my, my humanity, my function, and my sense of self. Is it worth losing rank and serving another if it means I'm close to it? Hmm. Is it? No more than from that guy, I guess. Oh, sir. Hmm. So this this thing is just a ridiculous amount of damage compared to everything else. Holy fuck. Lois. Now let's go check all the walls here because I suspect there's going to be a uh, material here somewhere that's like important. It could be. It could be. Deadwood, yeah. So there was, a, there was a Deadwood and Gloomwood, there's different ones. This is the only Deadwood I've seen, honestly. Could it be? No, there doesn't seem to be anything up here. Alright. Definitely I've gotten this one over there, yeah. I don't think I would ever miss that. Yeah, 10 money, there we go. Let's go do that 35 times. Obsidian. A gloom wood. This is a little more common one. There doesn't have to be anything to that, but yeah. It may be, wor be worth pointing out. What's this, the uh, secret? Yeah, this is the Shadow Blade, I think. Yeah. Shadow Blade. I have a lot of XP. Holy. Anyways, we got full lunacy, which is funny. It's funny. down here then. This place is genuinely so big, but holy shit. It's too big. It's gonna be so easy to miss something in this area. Which I think I have done. But th by the way, the fractured death essence that I found the uh, that I found it's in like a the mirror area to this, which is like the water area. So this is like the the, the earth element area. Oh, I met by Andy Sims. At, at least I found at least I found one of the great curses, the Unkillable Serpent, second only to the server Seven of Swords, the Thief of Life. I hope to find that one as well, one who could steal their life back if dead and turn killing into power. But alas, that's me. Is that me? <laughs> oh, it's talking about me! Motherfucker. And the serpent, the Inkillable Serpent, that's the fucking and the final boss, isn't it? Inkillable Serpent, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's talking about us? Lol. Okay, next <laughs> 
Didn't know what I've told people talking about me before I even showed up. I read in the manual, we are a thief. The story is that we are a thief thrown into the pit, and we can't get our life back because we can reload and save the game. The thief of life. So I am a great curse, I think. I might be reading too, too deep into this, but it seems like I am kind of a curse, though. Epic. A great curse, even. Oh, no. Fuck you, Cyrus. I hate you. Armada? Armada? What would what what would actually change depending on how crazy I am? If you think about it, Abdul's temple, the undead area, like the the crew, the tombs. Okay, so this is the yeah yeah okay. So now we've I think we've gone through more or less the entirety of this area. If there was gonna be some sort of like powder here or material, I guess there's this, the, it would be very very well hidden. Or I'm an idiot. Either way, uh, yeah. I'll I'll leave here for now. There was not no obvious change here. In, you know. Yeah. Nothing obvious. Oh, dude, the fucking uh, wait, 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 I believe it was uh, this way. Yeah. Where the bus? Hello. <sighs> Bitch. I thought, I thought, God damn it. I thought I was onto something here. Sad. Sad. The fuck is that book about then? Hmm. What was the other thing I wanted to check out? Uh. Oh, the crypts. The crypts. Or like the yeah, the spooky area down here. I don't know if it's the, if if it, if the full moon would change anything or lunacy itself would change anything. I th I would I would lean against lunacy since like full moon is something you have to wait for in real life. Right? That would be stupid. Surely. <laughs> Surely a secret in the game wouldn't rely on it being full moon in real life. They are the last exiting door. Existing door. Last existing door. Hmm. Now the game would never do that. It wouldn't rely on that for secrets, surely. I'd never. It would never. Also, wait, I only went to the room with the... Uh, actually, I, I, I have a lot of things I want to do now. The room with the VHS player. With like the, 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 the TV playing. 
Maybe place different things to different dates. Also, I, I do want to give this room another look, see, because I haven't been here for a minute. Uh, warp. Let's go there now. The Fondue Castle. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Nice. I love this game. This is awesome. Money. Thank you. What's up? Where was it again? Was it uh, in the blue door here? Have I, have I been here even? Oh, I have, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think it was in this area. Tansy. Oh, how sweet and joyous it is, but it's still diff but still difficulty. The vision and melancholy fill still my heart. With one bite, merely a simple of drop of blood, I overcame my family curse. If only I had found this gift sooner, I would not be the last who found it. So they were like vampires, but they didn't even know they were. Rip dogs. The gold lance is finally broken Castle of Honor. While their last army was a pitiful, hopeless display of combat, they won. I've sealed the worst of their damage away using the clock tower. Oh yeah, we still can't go into this shit. There's, this is a door I have not been able to open. Hmm. Hmm. Another locked door for me. Clock tower. Maybe it needs to be a certain time of day for, for, for opening that. What? What? Bro! Uncle, you fuck! This is new. This is new. <gasps> Are the tombs full of corpses during the f full moon? <laughs> okay, after this we're going to the c to the c cursed tombs or whatever. Holy shit. For sure. Cash money. This one is not open. Here we go. Down to the basement. Let's play some video. I gotta return some videotapes. Here it is. We are crazy now. Is the picture clear?
Det er søst, Tabgo. Dog. Still don't know what to do here, dude. Ja, yeah, no clue. God damn it, man! Bitch. I wanna play the tape, dude. Uncle again. He's using the Reaper Scythe. Like the one that Death had, or like the one that Ashley has actually. Oh! We're going to the mausoleum. Uh, I read those with this gift. Be I read of those with this gift before. Oh, but the sun. Ha. Huh. If they knew what would become of that or dim orb behind the fog. Ophelia found this amusing as well. I've yet to bestow her with this or burden her so. She is so dedicated to serving as a knight that she pledged for it immediately. But that is not what I long for, Ophelia. There are none who stand above us now. None to take away our kinship, none no reason left to pursue happiness in your arms. Not to pursue the happiness left in your arms and your, in your kisses. I must know that she feels the same before start sharing this gift. I cannot stand to wait a, a lifetime. Okay. What? The voices. That's creepy. Money! Bro! Okay, well, more money for me. Fuck it. Yeah, same audio. I think it's uh, probably the same audio. Probably. I rub my eyes for tears and make for tears and to make sure I'm not simply in a dream. My love, my sweet Justina, I never thought we'd be entwined, but we outlived all those who would stand against us. And with this great gift, we'll outlive on the others. I drank her blood and she drank and she mine. So different from blood sh shed in battle. We shed blood in love. Ophelia Fane. <gasps> but one coffin is open. Wait, what? Blade of I haven't been here. <laughs> what? Blade of Ophelia. The arming sword of a great knight Ophelia. She defended Lyria from countless fog beasts using the sword and counted service even. Continued serving even after losing humanity to vampirism. Withdraw some vitality from his foes. Okay, it's just a sword. Anyways, lifesteal sword. Okay, cool. Just a sword. Yeah, we're definitely going to the to the crypts. Holy, I'm crypt modding. You guys can fuck off. Oh, bat! Fucking maggot bats. So fast. Any secrets? Secret doors? No? 
Okay. God damn. We're bleeding. Oh, it sucks projectiles into Jesus Christ. What? Why is the third door opening now? The hell? We're bleeding a lot. I, I, I guess I should have maybe leveled like one point of resistance. That probably would have helped. A singular point in it. Probably not a bad idea. Probably not a bad idea. I might have missed something down here, I guess. I mean, it's possible. This guy's this guy dropped good money anyway, so I might as well just go through here. Cloth fragment. This is where you come from, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, um... Good money, yeah. What's the money at? 177. Okay, so we're like halfway there almost. Not bad. Is there anything in there? Ah, this is the secret uh, room with the ice. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. What's in here? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Leading. Oh, they actually... <laughs> okay, look. They deal damage. I should, I should probably retrace everything like I'm doing now, because suddenly there's like a... Um, Suddenly there's like a, one of those like key doors I had to unlock because it was like green that I just forgot. Like it's happened before, so... Definitely should just check out everything. I've only been there one time before, so... Probably worth just giving it a little look-see. I can heal them with that. Okay. I heal them above his max HP. Sure. Maybe I wonder if that if you if you use that on the boss who's here. Well, he's dead now, but if I go, if I do another playthrough and I just, like, feed him blood. <laughs> the fuck up is done. Hmm.
I think I've been here. Yeah, I have. I think I have. Yep. Oh, this you go. They can tear me to pieces all they like, but I'll never let them have it. My holy pa patchwork relic, my great- Oh, this was the, where you found the wand of power. Right. That was it. My wand of power. Did this place straight up not, just not lead anywhere, or what's, what's up? Usually this place is like, kind of, wrap around. That's where I, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh. Oh, well, let's go, uh, let's go now to the crypts. I want to go to the crypts. Crypts. Wherever that is. That's this way, okay. Good. Lefanu. Lefanu. There you are. Cursed tomb. What's up here? Now that it is, uh, it's full moon, and I'm co gonna go totally crazy. Coffee time for going insane. These things are still the same. Yeah. What was the sound? Whoa! What? What the fuck? Bro! Some dog is blinding me. Can you not see the skeletons unless you're crazy? What the fuck? Yeah, this is normally this way, but in the Abdul's area, it was different. It was different. They go fuck you. Creepy ass. The skeleton that was staked down here, the vampire skeleton that was staked, I want to check him out, I want to check out the mausoleum, I want to check out a lot of graves. While I have lunacy. Noble crafts. The fuck is that sound, dude? Fuck you, Mingo. Thank you. 
Uh. Again, this thing. There's also a door here that's always locked. Like some weird door that I want to open. I'll be going down there for it. So I'll check out all of these while I can. While I can. I want to do it. Okay, so it should be done here now. Yeah, here we go. So now down to the mares. It's time. The mouth is wide. <gasps> time to get spooky. I see you. Jump scare. Ah, this is the way out. So we're not going here yet. The smile is not red, the, the mouth is open. Wide. Open wide. Hey. Hey. Who the fuck? I wonder what the sound actually is. I don't buy it, it's just some random ambient sound. There's probably some shit going on. What is this? Is this coming from these things? Creepy. Creepy. Money. This should be the one that leads to the spooky door. I mean, everyone can tell that this door is going, this is a thing that's going to open. It just leaves in like this and it has like a different texture. Surely the fucking thing's going to open, right? the one. I can see it from the outside. Should I need to? What the hell? Dog! This is my key. Ugandan key. Open. <laughs> my god door. Celia. Dark damage of you? No. All right, not dark damage. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be affected by damage whatsoever. So, there's that. Or is this opens by light damage? It's for some reason, but light damage opens this. Painting! Right. <gasps> A secret that I've already gotten. Wait, what? What? 
the, did I miss this? How did I miss? This? That's the VHS player. <laughs> Open. Okay, it goes. That's where I. That's where I got the VHS tape. I like this game. Nice. Nice. Epic. Hey. Not king? More like Sket King. Goodbye. Now here. The red skeleton is still here. Okay. Okay, noob. Then I'll go to the mausoleum first. I'll go to the mausoleum and then I'll go to the and do shoot lightning in the corner. I know exactly where that is, by the way. Where I shot the lightning, I know exactly where it is. And it said something on the screen when I shot it. Uh, I don't know what it said, but, you know, there is that. Wait, no, it was not this way. We shot the bars up there, so we go this way now. We continue over here. Yeah, we don't shoot that at the fucking mayor like an idiot. And there is the, yeah, I remember, I remember. What's up? I'll see, I wanna know if anyone thinks it's different over here. Also, I'll change weapon or like... Change the, uh, here into spirit warp? Actually, no, we'll just put in a crystal. Should I need to go while use that? So far, everything is the same. Everything is the same. So far. Oh no. It's like a little moon, that thing. A little floating moon. Wait, what? Wait, wait, I lost my direction, shit. The purple is good, it means that I have not been here yet. Which means I'm probably going the right way. Ectoplasm! Evan. God damn it. I made it! Here is nothing? You have a cross here, that looks like the one for the forlorn arena. Some dog was buried here, but I don't know who. Anyways, let's check out the crypts over here. Maybe there's something different about it today, because we are in, uh, you know, luna luna lunatic mode. We're lunatic modding. And what do you know? It's nothing. It's nothing. That's crazy. Yep. Wow. Incredible. No. Empty coffins. 
Some dog. I didn't go here on the other side, did I? Like inwards? That? No, I didn't do that. There's one room I haven't checked on the other side. Let's go check that out. Let's have to look to up, up along the walls. Let's probably do that. This place is a bit scary. There was nothing on this side here, but th th that would just make sense. Surely there's something. Hidden wall? Is it asymmetrical or what? Up there? No. Weird. Where's death? Pussy! Is death not coming? Guess not. What? Where's death? Huh? Why is death pussying out? What do you hear? Hello? <sighs> Excuse me. I have an appointment with, uh, with death. Oh, well, that's weird. He has sh he has shown up every time. Every time he's shown up, but not today. What? Also, why isn't the twisted? St isn't this twisted stuff? Yeah, it was. Weird. So being crazy means death isn't real. XD. That level deck so hard I can almost just jump up here. Yeah, I didn't even need a coffin. Actually. <laughs> Fuck them coffins. Okay, again another room with books. Where is bitch ass death? Alright, well, I'm good. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I leave now. It's odd. Strange. Hello. Let's take out the banner. Which grave it is. Which grave has the banner? It should be a locked... should be a locked room. Like a locked gate. It's not this one. It's that one. On the very edge. Same uh, symbol as the... Well, it's just a cross, I guess. Use the cross. Let me... Dude, I can't. I can't move. Good game. Thank you. I can move.
Meagle? Got her. It's weird I haven't been in any of, the, other of these ones, though. What is Bro doing? Oops. Well, I know which script it is now, and death isn't coming, so I guess I'll just leave. Oh. Dead fellas. What is that? Is that, is that like an ambient sound or what the fuck? Weird ass game. Penis. How do you leave this area? Is that through here? No. Whoa, skeleton jump scare. What the fuck? Let's check all of these ones. Hold up. I've only been up here once, so I might as well check it out again. More as well. Last time here was a bunch of skeletons. Ashley was here also. Bones acquired. Hello, skeleton. Well, nothing here. What about the rest over here? Goes here. This goes here. Yeah. So if you have a, if you have high decks at this point in the game, you could like skip a lot of the crypt. Practically, or like, yeah, basically, you just skip half of it. That's crazy. I love scary sounds. Thank you, game. For real, though, when you go, when you when you come into the crypt for the first time, where the hell do you come from? Oh, you fall down from the from the forest, right? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. you fall down from the forest, and then you walk somewhere. But I don't know where like the exit is, though. I'm just gonna find my way to the safe crystal and warp out, I think. But since I may stumble upon something on my way there, I'm gonna go ahead and just like walk there instead of teleporting. I can teleport, but yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go shoot the lightning at the thing. I am now in the know. More or less. Let's see. Uh, uh, where the fuck do I go? There we go. All right, all right. Yeah. Right. Oh, you start in one of these crypts, right? You start like in uh, something like this, and then you walk out. That's that was it, yeah. This is not, no, this is not a way. <laughs> nope. Start here? Which one do you fucking spawn in, actually? This one? Dude, spooky sound. Weird. Can't seem to find it. The entrance point. Entrance, yeah, this is the... Yeah, but you don't spawn from the entrance, though. Entrance. Yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, sure. I got blinded by something over here that I couldn't see earlier, but it could have been a lingering projectile from a like 
painting or some shit, so who cares? Who cares, dude? Warp me to the, uh, to here. Yeah. Let's do that. Da, da, da. Was it this? I think it's this way. Yep. Time for spooky. Hey, you my maggot zombie. No, not this way. They're also slow here, I don't really have to care about them at all. Here we go, so we go this way. This is where the video was filmed. We're supposed to shoot a... Uh, follow this way down here. All the way to the end, more or less. And then... Here, yeah, and then it started like up there or something. Corrupt key. Why did the tornado do that? <laughs> to fuck. Uh. Oh, that's for the crypt. Yeah, is that the key? <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 stupid wall that I've been worrying about this whole time. It's probably this. It looks like the the that wall, doesn't it? XD. Let's pop this fucking key over there. Cause it has the same colors, yeah, it's a stupid wall. Or clock tower. Uh, or something like that. Who knows? Time to try. I'll say first though. There we go. The fetid mire. Uh, my sub feed is disabled. Where's that? I can't see subs. 18 days ago? Oh, 18 days ago because I set my calendar wrong. Oh, never mind. Okay, that's why. I, I changed my, my local time to to, uh, <laughs> to 27th to have more moonlight. Uh, anyways, yeah. That's why I said that this, the last sub was 18 days ago. Where was the uh, rest, rest hall here? I think it was to the right. The right. Move and again now to the crypt. Has to, it has to be here. It has to be here, basically. I have to. I am. I'm. You know. I'm right. You know. I'm right. The mouth is wide. Oh, you know it. What's the money at? Two fifty. I need a hundred gold for uh, or silver for the weapon to kill Jotun, which presumably kills Jotun or whatever. That ain't it. It's gotta be this way. Should have taken note of like which direction it is on the compass to get to that. Could it be here? Oh, it's here actually, nice. Oh. Oh! Haha, <laughs> it worked! White VHS tape, look at that! Okay, Pog, this thing is like blinking or some shit. Let's go play some videotapes. How are you in the know? Quick. I need to return some videotapes. The gate was over here. Right. 
right? Perhaps. I think the gate was closed. And I have to open it again. Migo. Best. I hate Migo. That can't be it. Hello. That's the mausoleum. So we're not going there. Not so simple. Not so simple. Hmm. Hmm. What about the, the mansion now? Okay, let's go to the mansion with the white tape. It's a white mansion, white tape. Hmm. There's another TV area at the very least. Do we go in here again? I, I, I want to see if this motherfucker spawns or not. What's up? Why wasn't that here? Hello? Idiot? We got modern skeletons, that's nice. Bones! Let's go! Huge money, huge money, holy, what am I at? 297 already, holy shit. We're holding ass. We're going, uh, west. Dog. Cursed bl what? Let's drop a cursed blade. What the fuck's a cursed blade? Moonlight vial. Epic. The cum jar. Hello! <laughs> Bitch. Uh. A broken blade from a, lo a legendary dark sword. Its power waxes and wanes with the faces of the moon. And on full nights, it drains the power of its wielder to resurrect its old master. What? Full nights, it drains the power of its wielder to resurrect its old master. Really? Well, it's a full night, full moon now, so... Does it need to be night in real life, too? Hmm. Well, I'm not giving rain. Maybe it have to be night. More have to be night. Well, not death. Curse blade, that's cool. Shit. There you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, the the one in. Well, this is where you use the white tape. There's the only other television that I've seen, so, you know. 
Wouldn't say it's like a far fetched or anything. Exactly. That's green. I don't, I don't want to go to the green. Green, green. Before that, I need some a little bit of food. One sec. Most of the city green from the Joker cosplay. God damn. Money! Look. Oh, it worked! In pain birth experience. For the creation of nostalgia. What happens? Heroes who live in a dream, but are not the dreams. The dreamers. Is everything a lie? Life, existence, hate, love, passion, torment. And those who live in a dream. Do they have dreams as well? And the cycles of creation, of gods of pain. Sometimes I wish to sleep forever, to give my dream world more time to exist. But all things end in time. This too shall pass. End the dream. Wake it up. Then wake up. Then wake up God. Then wake up its God. And everything. With strange eons even, death may die. That didn't help. That didn't help. Maggot? That was just the end of the game. And it took my fucking tape too. Dog. Oh, didn't I save us to get in the, key, the corrupt key? Shit. Oh, I didn't. Lol. Okay.
Okay, well, let's get it again then. And then, uh, I want to record that. And just, like, have it. And look at it without having weapons out. And so on. Oh, we lost the Corrupt Blade, though, shit. Yikes. Well, that kind of sucks. Don't... Wrong way. Also, there's some money, shit. He lost money. Before I use the white tape, I want to. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to. That's up there, okay. Corrupt key. Perfect. Unix. Money. Good. Well, 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 well. White tape. I also want to save it for putting it in, because there might be a hidden message in that video. For example, if I have to turn a certain like setting on for a resolution, for uh, uh, style of the game, for like gamma, for stuff like that. So I want to just like, you know. Yeah, set that up. Basically. It was there. Alright. This is corrupt key. Noise. What on here? The mouth is wide. Why? Wait, 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 wait. This should be it. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hmm. It's all a little dream. I still don't understand how we're still in the stream. If the if the big the, the old like fish was the thing that dreamt this or whatever, or well, maybe that dreamt another dream. But what does that fucking dream matter then? Like how does that how does waking nothing up in this world? Because it doesn't. It clearly doesn't. We're still here. We woke up the big fish and it's still here. Like and you know what the hell, man. What gives? Warp uh, here, yes. Now we save. Yeah. No more weapons.
Mm. Okay. All right. Something there. I think it's this way, right? Yeah. Fuck spells that one. I can't cast spells. I, I can't cast. Okay, I can't cast. Whatever. I guess I'll just avoid them. Then, Jesus Christ. Be like that then. Fucking up. Yeah, just that thing. I'm go. Why did it reset to that? What the fuck? I don't like when the, like, uh, reward for a quest or secret is just some, like, too deep for you philosophical shit. I really hope there's, like, an actual hint in there somewhere to something, or else I'm gonna be mildly upset. With strange aeons, even death may die. No. Cool. I'll turn off the sub recording because it's like, I don't, you know, hold up. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, hold on. Notice that this spell would be so useful. It actually is very useful.
could this lunar face be important? An hourglass. And this specific lunar cycle. I think that's the one we were in, isn't it? We're in Fulman now, but yeah. Let's grind money for the Jotun Slayer for the time being. For the time being, let's just grind that. Also, these symbols on these tablets here are not the same as the ones you get the, the al alphabet for. So that, there's no use in try trying to translate those. Ever. No point. We're at 257. You have the crop plate still? No, we don't have it. Let's go see if we can get it again. Hold up. Or. I don't know, full noise. It's, it drains to summon its like master. Who the fuck is that? I kind of want to go get it. Actually. Let's kill some more of the active blossoms. Getting a bit tired of this place, but I do want to get the, every weapon in the game, at least. <clears throat> so left all doors to open. We have one is the clock tower door, for example. The clock tower door in the in the castle. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, it could be a certain time of day or something, but let's not let's not assume that to begin with. I think that would be very helpful. What's that? This is the, yeah, the vampire and shit. And the mausoleum should be over here. To the left. Yeah. Mausoleum. So we get the, the Corrupted Dagger. I, I hope it's not like a chance drop. That would kind of suck. <laughs> I really hope not. On a while. This guy may drop money. Like, I've had him drop 10 before, so I want to just like... Skeleton Axe, he's a new weapon. Look at that. Curse blade, there we go. Okay, we got it again. Very nice. Seems like a pretty consistent drop then. And the moonlight wire, like the blossom, yep. Yeah. Good stuff. Maybe death is dead. He said with, with strange eons even death may die. So maybe death just fucking died. <laughs> maybe it's busy doing something else, I don't know. Who the fuck knows, man? I'm out of here. So the, the, the white VHS tape, it could be, for example, either there's something hidden in the video itself, or watching it triggers an NPC dialogue, or something like that, or like an event to happen elsewhere in the game, like arbitrarily. That's that's like, it could set like a flag that something is gonna happen once you've seen it, kind of like, uh, <laughs> kind of like the fucking ring. Uh, or if you watch it, I, I really hope it's not like, oh, you have to watch it at a certain date or time to get somewhere, or it's just like a, or the developer is actually just being a dog. And it's like, oh, here's a tape that you can watch that just, it's just like some fucking weird high school fucking art project that I made really quick, like. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I, but, but yeah, like, I, 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 I don't know if I should have my save file in the state where I have watched it or where I haven't watched it. That's what I'm like. That's the, the thing here. I don't know if I... Because now I haven't watched it. It's still in my inventory, I think. All right. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah, like, I'm really not, dude. Talk to me, Clive. What's on his head? Is this... Is that a crown? King and Basilisk? No. Well, I can't remember for some reason. There was a king and, and a famine, I think. And the king sent his knights to help the famine. Or with the famine. But something happened, and the realm of the king, the disease, and knight... Something about... Oh, I remember. The king wore a brilliant yellow crown, only it wasn't a crown at all, but a halo. A circular blade separating his head, heart and the head. But while he shed his skin. Another ab adorned it like a yellow molded glove. And no matter how much time passed, no matter how many came and left the realm, the torn one would be born anew and take the form of the king in yellow. That's not right, is it? I'm sorry, Joshua. Just forget about it. The fuck. How about just forget about it? Well, he's wearing something. Vi har inte det för mig så du får välta mig ett håll, du. Ett håll! Tre fiftis, good lord. Hej, Arsjö. Jag hoppas att du är säker på dina resor. Så du har en gärna 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 gärna. Kul. Warp mig! Var? Fucking, uh... Uh, no, I got a good, I got a good money. Where do I get good money? Here? Sure. Wait, I haven't given it in here? I haven't locked open the door? What do you mean? This is where it come from, right? Yeah, it is. Wait, there's a locked door here. Interesting. Hmm, serious. Right. What in the... Oh, his head is gone. The fuck? Who took the guy's head? Poor, poor Lobos. Rip, man. Skill of dogs. I hate you. I hate you so much. Skeleton dog. They give me money though, so there's that. But goddamn, I hate them. La Yaler. Move down. Don't bleed forever. Yep. I 
Oh, we're dying. Lunar. Here's this guy again. There's the fucking, uh. Yeah. The skeleton that wasn't here before. What's up with these guys? What's the name again? Oh, of course, I'll do that. Encore. I really don't like this blindness that they do. We killed the Ankur. Bones, ashes, ashes. Yep. Money! Epic. Another one of these fuckers. What's up with these fucking skeletons? Morons. Wait, so death isn't showing up, and there's all these, like, reaper guys going around with scythes and shit. What is up with that? Hmm. Curious. What does Ankur mean, even? What is that? So I ended up here at some point. Oh yeah, this is the tunnel, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Used to be easy, so set, so set. Ah! Dog. Fuck you. Money. Five. Oh, it's this guy again. Die. Sorry to bless Luna. And the keys from hitting this kid. I don't want to get sucked into the dark gate, man. Stop, 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 stop. Stop it. I've had it. Oh, this is where you meet that stupid jump scare skeleton. Fuck this place. Nah. 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 I don't think so. But this too. Obsidian maggot. Fuck that. Let's go up. I think this is the place that leads to that lever. That I for some reason haven't pulled yet. For some reason. Yep. Sure is. Sure is. Well, it didn't really open up any doors. Well, I mean, it did, but yeah, like, you know. You know. We also haven't checked out, wait, the, the, the place where I killed the final boss. What about that? Hold up. And the, the Sigurd of Katarina hammer dude, like, doesn't, didn't he die? Where's his corpse? Where's his hammer? I want to go check that out. I want to get his stuff. He did have, he did have a cool hammer. I want to check it out. That hammer. Hold on. Yeah, there's all, there's so many of these skeletons. Look at that. There's like this dude too. The fuck? Uncle, you little bitch. 
Watch it there, make me blind. Money. Ten. Look at that. Beautiful. So these uncle guys did not show up before. And I think those guys are probably related to the lunar cycle. Because, like, again, they, they were not literally not here before. But now they are. Let's up with that. What? It's not in a weapon? What? Did it say broken sword? Look at Lance. Did it not say broken sword? Why is it on? What? What remains of a knightly arming sword, however, it has been broken by strange magics that ke keep it within a twilight state of being. A material? Hmm. That's interesting. That's interesting. Material sword. But what if we imbue a sword with fractured death, for example? And one more thing. That would be epic for the win. <laughs> epic for the win. What's up? It's no longer dark here. So this is where the Sigurd guy died. He died right here. But apparently not. He ain't here no more. I may have forgotten to talk to the guy. There's that. It could be that. What's up? Grave of the Slumber. Is the fucker still here? Why is there like uh, some white shit down here? He's still there, yeah. <laughs> what? Weird. What? Why is he still there, though? the hell? He went to bed again. No. Oh. Hmm. I thought he flew into the moon. I mean, I could go wake him up twice, but I don't think that's gonna actually accomplish anything. I mean, I already did it. How much money? 297. Some of these dogs. Don't just, I, just, I, I, don't want be, I don't want to be blind though, so. I'll keep a distance. Bye. Ectoplasm. Obsidian. Board. Hmm. And also, I just haven't seen much of that, that that alien text that I got like a translation sheet for. Like, where the fuck is that? 
There's been like one piece of paper on the wall that I could transfer that didn't really do anything. Other than that, just like fucking nothing. I thought it was money, shit. So scary. Can I, uh... Can I get up here? This is like literally level gated, man, what the hell? Ugh. Well, or spell gated. I'm gonna get money in here because I like the music here. Zip plus. Sure, I've gotten this one. Oh, we're already at the place where I got the. Oh, sure. Did I miss something up there, though? Let's see. I don't think I did. But let's visit it during a full moon. Surely it matters. Of course. Of course you missed tonight, though. Let's reopen the thing and got the item. Water! My enemy. Let's scan the walls here, see if there's like a, anything hidden. In the water. Speaking of water, man, there could also be like in that uh, where, place where you transition from the... Uh, into like the moonlight sort of area. Uh, you like travel on the boat for a bit. And that's where there could be uh, some less secret stuff. Perhaps. Okay, yeah. yeah. This is like the only thing here, right? Okay. That was it. You go in, you pick the death, death fragment. And you leave. There's all the rest to it. We go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell? Why did the uncle spawn in here? Well, this is like, uh, I turn up the difficulty by just making it uh, later in August. Oh, wait, no, November. It's wild. That is crazy. Come to think of it, I don't think uh, mushrooms probably spawn, drop money. Maybe going for those is a bad idea. Yeah, this place sucks for money, fuck it. I like the music here, but this place is ass for money, I think. Most likely. I 
Let's check it a bit more. Why? Because I want to listen to the music. It just looks like mushroom shit. Did the music like drop really hard here? I thought it did. Could have sworn. I've been here. Pro possibly. Yeah, I think I recognize this place. Yeah, yeah. for sure. This one, the song takes like literally two minutes to take off. Damn. Sad. Warp me to money area. Uh, money, who does money? Snails don't really have money. Where's the got a fuck ton of enemies? Where's the most enemies? Not here. They drop fool skulls and some other stuff. Lunar Vina is like fine where I just was. That's fine. Underground, uh, nah. Well, it's a bunch of snakes. I guess they could have some money. Let's go to the new area just to see what they have to offer in uh, in full moon mode. Other than Ankus. Come on, yes, sir. What do you always call that? Could have sworn it had a different name. Skellington. What's this? Many souls have tried and failed to climb the branches into the outworld. But what if the answer lay below? Right, we already read that. Huge. Huge. What if the answer lay below? I lost the gear only blood to the forest, but it wasn't enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What a creepy little guy. Headless, even. Oh, money from the rabbits. Give it. Those aren't glyphs, are they?
No, I don't think they are. They don't look like glyphs. Are they? No, it's just some texture that- yeah, it's just some random texture. It doesn't look like glyphs to me. Don't look like it. Not quite. Right. This is the worst force ever. It's mega disorienting. Uh, you know what? I hate this area. Chat. Chat, have I, have I missed anything in this forest? In this, like, little grotto? That isn't, like, super endgame epic? Uh... Like, is there, is there any, like, obvious area I have not checked here? Because I haven't explored this area much because it's, like, it's so... It's so difficult to navigate that I'm just like, ugh. A simple yes or no would do. For those who know, I guess. Those in the know. I have no idea. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe I have. That's the problem. That's the problem. Problem is skill issue. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's so disorienting this entire place, dude. Holy shit. Rock Strike is really the only thing here. And the Lady Merchant. Can you give here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then it's, it's mostly. Then, yeah, I've basically done everything. Alright. We're at 314, so like uh, 45 more gold, and we get the uh, ep the weapon to kill the giant. Nice. It's really expensive, but we almost got it. I wish this thing doesn't have such so strong pull, man. Holy shit. Their ass. Right. No money. But no money. Right. Money. Five more. Wonderful. This should be down to the tombs, no? Yeah. I remember things. I remember this place too well, for how little I've been here. Holy. This is the hag. What does the hag say for? Yeah. What's up? Uh, you're still alive. Wow, well, look at you. She's just chilling here. Not doing shit. Money! Big. Alright, well that's, uh, that's it for that area. Now we can move on to the next. I hate this place. Where the fuck I am? What will be the next area? To scoot... To, to scout out. Fetid Mire. Uh, that's the library. Archives. Still haven't found a single more of those black books, man. Only one black book for the for Daedalus. Which is kinda weird. 
He said he knows there's more around, but I mean, it could just be full of shit, I guess. Ten, holy. We are at... Oh, we need five more coins. Five more goddamn coins. I should probably turn off preview, hold up. Preview off. Oh, I can't see shit. I couldn't really see much to begin with, but... Still suspect about this thing. For the Lost Kingdom of Lyria. Plants. How nice. Rain. What do you think about that? Oh. No one to drop by sleep. No money. No money. <coughs> Sorry, snails. I'm in need of money. Capitalism. Ocean bone shark. Suck. Money? Two. Uh, two more? Two more? It's chilling. I feel like I must have, must, I must have missed some like super obvious tar books. Like how I missed this. How I only found one after all this. Quick stride. What? I got a ring from this fucker? A blood magic that redirects the caster's blood to the legs. Resulting in a faster movement for 30 seconds. <laughs> okay. Lol. Wow. Grinding paying off. Money! Okay, let's go. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm gonna snap. <laughs> Time for Jotun. Jotun Slayer. Maybe even a token of spite. Life goes on. What did it say? What's this? Shirley Crow. Okay, never mind. Uh, twist the stuff. Jotun Slayer. A massive obsidian great sword with a broken blade. One sacred, a sacred relic given only to Knight Griffith. It's elite knights, now a pale shadow of its former glory. The sheer size of the weight it makes an unsuitable, un un unsuitable for humans. Oh, wait a minute. What did she say? Can someone clip that? What did she say, chat? Fuck. Yeah, so fraud track to death and something else. Okay. Can someone clip the dialogue? Just clip what just happened. Or I can do it myself, I guess. Um, 
I didn't know she would have a unique dialogue. It was a yes-no thing. Thank you. Says Bon. I never heard anyone say for sooth. Can you say it for me? Oh. What did she say? Can okay, was this a meme or something? <laughs> the sword is broken, so it might not work, but let's see. I hear him. I see him. Holy. Fuck me, it's full of water now. That's terrifying. Goodbye. Strange coin. Is that a token of spite? Ten. A coin made from a soft metal. Just holding it in your palm can contorts its form to mimic the lines of your hand, but stow the way it regains its coin-like shape. Oh, so we only need to do three things on that list, don't, do, don't we? Wait, hold up. Why am I getting errors? Whatever. Uh, the list in Notepad, where is it at? Okay, so, Slayer Giant of Magic is one and it gave us 10 coins. We got 10 of these and we need 30. Uh, transmute an animal into a mass of humanoids, replace a prisoner and an angel, use poison to give separate wills to the brains and bodies of followers. Disrupt the flow of souls to the afterlife. Grant healing blood magic to the to one afflicted witch. Takes more than it heals. Sever a follower of yours into different planes of existence. Desecrate a shrine to an elder being. Oh. Okay. This is the wrong one. Did I lose the corrupted blade? Oh shit. Against the shit, Captain. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna level up the sublet and see what happens with it. Good. 
So I'm basically not going back to the... To the fucking... Uh, <coughs> blood, blood, blood sanguine again. Fuck that place. We're done there. Oh, we can do that? <laughs> nice. One of them was uh, grant healing blood magic to one afflicted, which takes it takes more than it heals. Wait a minute! What about the skeleton? Wait, what the fuck? Not that. But what about the what about the skeleton in the fucking uh, in the tombs? I'm gonna go squirt on some skeletons. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's go squirt on some skeletons with my new blood magic. <sighs> Type Lunar. Nice you to drop by. Thank you. It's, your name isn't Ashley, is it? Uh, it's Demi. I thought it was, I, I've been calling her Ashley the entire game, though. What the fuck? I thought it was. I thought it was Ashley. Who the fuck is Ashley then? <laughs> XD. Save warp. Let's go to um. Uh... Yeah, here we go. Just I I. Just... We go back here all the time. I want to go to that corpse, the, the vampire corpse, and see if I can squirt a little bit of blood on it. What will happen? Lightning. Deal with the uh, maggots. That maggots. Money. It's the money. I mean, the corpse doesn't have a head, but who cares? Oh, like the paintings. Oh. Oh. Blade of Justina. Would you look at that? A small legend dagger with in the ah. Fuck off. A small elegant dagger with inlaid pearl and silver, used by Queen Justina Pino to with withdraw magic power from her foes.
Oh, look at that. Was that Justina that the... Did we resurrect Justina? Perhaps. It blew the Ophelia and blew the Justina. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can use this on the bl on the blue marks on the other level. That's the blue shit. Let's extract some fucking magic from that garbage. Seems magical to me. The dagger is blue, the lights are blue. And one plus one is two. Be a magic, you fuck. Bastard. Well, it was worth a shot. One steals magic, one steals life. Hmm. Warp here. Maybe something has happened in the castle. I want to go. I want to go score some more blood. What's up, Castle? Stop. It sucks. <laughs> it's it's ass. <laughs> Mega ass. Blood weed. Epic blood need. But the, the note said uh, Grant healing blood magic to one afflicted which takes more than it heals Blood strike? I write this letter fervently, my sweet Ophelia, for it pre pre presents to itself that I, last living of the Thunder line, might have finally solved my family curse. As you know, our castle was always naturally attracted, always naturally attracted the great fog beasts, and of which your annihilation. I've been much affectionate, and of your annihilation, I've been much affectionate. So today I found the cause. Please return to- yeah, whatever. I found the cause. Blood magic to one afflicted. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe another blood magic in that case. Dear lady, I've read your words again and again, for it brings me unforeseen delight to hear that you have finally beaten your family curse. I ride now from the, our great battlefield onto the outskirts of your estate. I will have to steed my ste steed fly like it has never has before, but I presume the raven which brings this letter might arrive sooner. Feel it later. Yeah. 
No. Where did that maggot go? I wonder. We're in the shit. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Dog, what the fuck? Okay, my god. How? How? How did I miss that? Dude, I have brain damage. King of the castle, I sit here now. Fucking morons. Well, now we have another book. For Dillas. About fucking time. Why was there a dog bark? The hell? My god, dog. I'm gonna talk to the dog. The one dog that I know. The one dog that I recognize. The cool blue dog. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey! That's a blood. Bye. Oh yeah, Daedalus, hello. I have a book. I have a book friend. Maybe I should level, actually. Yeah, 26 levels. Maybe I should. <laughs> Maybe I should level. Speed, go! I wanna be acrobatic as fuck. Dude. Yo. Yes. No switch of you, Joshua. Come back soon and I'll tell you what knowledge it held. Alright, man. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Boop, boop, boop. Nice. With ten minutes, then. Ten minutes of being links with Deadless. Oh, this is when I would like to read chat. Oh, man, too bad I can't. Because I might get backseated. <laughs> I wish there was a way to uh, have him recount what he read earlier. Because uh, I don't remember at, in the slightest what the fuck the first book told of. No idea even. Actually, no fucking clue. So, that's a, that's a shame. It was so early in my playthrough that I wasn't really paying attention to, these, to details, details like that. But... Yeah. But I, I don't want to Google it either because then I might find some other stuff that I, that I don't want to find, you know? That would suck. That wouldn't be very good, would it? 
No, sir. Bye-bye. There still is like little bridges on here, I have no idea how to get to. No idea. There's this guy. Don't think there's much to, more to this necessarily. But yeah, dude, I'm so I'm so fucking fast, man. I'm like uh, that's dexterous right now. <laughs> I can jump so high. I remember in the start, I was like, uh, there was a g close gate here, and I was like, oh, I can wind dash around. I can literally just fucking jump there. <laughs> like, I don't need a wind dash. I can literally, quite literally, just jump anywhere. That's nice. But yeah, it takes this guy like 10 real life uh, minutes to to decipher the book or to like read through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do something else in the meantime, which could be, for example, either going to the pyramid temple again. But I, I, I feel like I've been very thoroughly with, thorough with that area. Um, there's this place. What else? There's the clock tower. That's the only thing. I haven't found any new pieces of lore. The, VH, the white VHS tape is like kind of ass because it doesn't like show me anything. Um. It does tell me to go talk to the fucking beast or whatever. The forlorn area, area it, it, like two of the two of the ingredients we got for the the thing we were supposed to do with fracture death are from here. I'm assuming the third one is here as well somewhere. And it makes it actually makes perfect sense that it would be in the earth area because like we have literally water area is like one uh, thing and then the in, in here you have the other thing which is a sword, and then like you know, surely this the third one. It it would be, it would just be it would be so like reasonable for it to be in here then. In the in the final like you know this earth 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 place, right? Am I crazy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Rotoring daggers. Like it's 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 basically it basically has to be in here this this way. Basically, there's no way it's, it's there's no way it's not this way, right? Like how the fuck? How do you have uh, two of them in, the, in this area and then the third one not here, right? Like, how do... How? Two of the ingredients. Gotta check the ceilings, gotta check everything. All we've got near is a shadow blade, but maybe I should level a shadow blade. The sword is just ass. Nice. The damage is so bad though, hold on. Did I get poisoned? I think I did. No. Good. Some health at? Almost dead. What's the XP at? Ass. Nice. So slow. Just level at all? 
It's so slow though, holy shit. It's so ass. Zeros. I feel like I'm out of the check all the secret world series that could be. My guess is it's either like some like either some like dumb place I've missed or it's like in one of these areas. It could very much be in in here somewhere. Like it's like a little entrance on the on the side top of the cliff side I haven't seen. So I'm gonna look for that. Could also be something inside of this secret. I've only went here once, so. Pretty well sh worth checking out somewhere. Suck. This is a bit boss. Fiddlehead. Check every wall. I'm sure the bitrate is, is loving this. All there, don't care about that though. All of the bin. Ah. Did he poison me? Bastard. There's deadwood here. Why is it called? Yeah, that, that's that's the that's the only thing. It's called deadwood instead of gloomwood. That's the only. That's like one thing that stands out. There's like a bunch of gloomy and one deadwood. So that's that that could be something, but yeah. That's the only thing that like kind of stands out here. Gloomwood. Yeah, they're all gloomwoods. So there could be something to that, to that enemy. It could be, or it could just be random. I, I don't know. It just seems like so. It just seems to stand out when, when you like when you think about it. But yeah, that's the only thing that really stands out here, I guess. I think I feel like I've checked everything now. that book but the book just shifts and doesn't make any sense uh there could be that there's a different order to it and there's like a false positive like thing like you have to do it in a specific way and like it it might seem like you get it by doing random shit but then yeah it just shifts but if you do it the correct way the correct correct way with like you know final 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 in parentheses then something actually happens and you can read the fucking thing but yeah 
Uh, let's save and go to Daedalus anyways. Should be about 10 minutes. For him to finish this stupid thing. Le book. Hello, I'm still reading the book. Oh, wow. This thing says time. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some food then, BRB. BRB. Getting a bit cold. Gonna put on my fleece jacket. Hello, are you done? Hello, Joshua. I'm still. What? Brain? Why can't we ride this? Ride the snail. That's very sad. Did you just fall off. Uh, okay. Desecrate a shrine to an elder being. What is an elder being? Transplant the fingers of the left hand to the right of another. Disrupt the flow of souls to the afterlife. The flow of souls. Use poison to give separate wills to the brains and bodies of followers. Use poison to give separate wills to the brains and bodies of followers. That is something Abdul did. Because in the uh, crypt under the first area... Or like the zombie area. There's noted in the book that the it seemed like the brains carved their own way out of the bodies. Instead of them being excavated out by someone else. Or by like external. It was like internal. The brain came out of the body itself. So he apparently used poison to make it, their brains just flow out. And they did that. The reason he did that is to get spice tokens. That's why Abdul did that actually. Probably. Uh... Repl replace a prisoner and an angel. That's so. That's a weird thing. Just 
transplant, transmute an animal into a mass of humanoids. Doesn't sound like I, so that doesn't sound like something I could do either. Things that sound like something I can do, for example. It's grant healing blood magic to an, one afflicted which takes more than it heals. Uh, which would make sense in the, in the context, for example, with blood strike, right? Blood strike... It heals them because it 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 heals because uh, of uh, its blood. Wait, simple form of blood magic. I guess. Rather than hurting one's enemies, it simply sprays them with blood. Oh, it doesn't do damage. What the hell? A blood strike. There. Okay. Oh, lol. What the fuck? What? <laughs> A weaponized form of blood magic. Somewhere you sought this forms of magic to rely on. Their vitality rather than magical power. 144 damage. This, for example, it's not, it's not, well, it's not a healing magic. No. There could be more blood spells than that, that is here, but yeah. Forbidden blood magic that gives life to the inanimate, unable to comprehend existence. These objects only scream. Created by Mad Wizard Abdul before his exile, it is known. Well, Lithomancy will be it, yeah. This type of blood magic on a, on a vampire, for example, will probably grief them. Perhaps. Hello, Joshua. I have finished reading the book you gave me. Okay, do I record this? I'm gonna clip this. It was most curious. It told me a tale of an ancient king and a bestial curse involving blood. Oh. Here, take this ring. It's inscribed with the... Oh, with the ma magic of this book. Please continue. Oh, he gives you spells for it, of course. What did I get? Beastial communion. An ancient spell used to confer with inhuman things. No doubt outlaw and shunned as a magic that allows some to t make demonic pacts. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, let's go. Dude, epic. What does the snail say? In the high contrast. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> high contrast, you say? I'll just fucking blind myself. Let's go. Dialogue underscore snail. Uh huh, put that. In a different folder. I gotta organize my thing here. Okay. Add page dialogue dialogue with animals. Okay, uh, let's translate the snail. Hold up. Desktop. Uh, uh, uh. Open it up like so. Wait. My thumbnails. Where's the alphabet? There you are. 
there, and then like so. I gotta open the, the, the Lunacid. Oh my god. Sorry, this is taking a bit because I can't find my files. There we go. Alright. I need this one. Okay. Okay, let's put it somewhere else. S M A L L. And that is what? The fuck is that? It is a small b small bo It's an o, right? Yeah. The seven is a small bo That is a Small bound. Small bouncy. Bone. Small bouncy bony. Small bouncy bony yoni. What? Small bouncy bony. O N E Y. O N E Y O V. S. What the fuck? And that is what? So. It's an L, right? I think it's an L. That one is an L. Yeah. Is that a U actually? One. Oh, it's a U. Small bouncy bony one. U. Sh <coughs> Uh, you should slow slow and You should slow and it's an S O R
Wow. Suavely? Small bouncy bunny one. You should slow and slowly wear wear though. What? O R W. Suavely. W E W E D O. Huh? You stupid? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Whoops. Well, anyways, uh, we learned a spell. Cool. I can talk to animals now. I don't think that guy was that snail was very helpful, but uh, you know, he tried. Uh, I'm gonna get my pi put my piece in the oven. Hold up, one sec. This is gonna be a long, tedious process of di of translating snail and animal dialogue. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in my notepad. Milky snail. Uh huh. What more animals do we have? Not anything here? Well, there's the big fucking head in the prison I, tr I tried to talk to. Rip trying to talk to Jotun though. Jesus, I missed out on that. Jotun is gone. Uh, prison. Wolf head. What you, what you, what do you think? What's up? That's the wrong way. Here we go. I mean, the wolf has had that a single fucking purpose so far, but I think it would make sense for him to have some. That's a lot of text. Hey. Let's see what it says. New dialogue disrupt. Uh, uh, there. Uh, screenshots folder Dialog uh, wolf skull There it is It's a large, it's a big one It's a big one uh, Desktop view, here we go let me just turn on some, uh, hold up. Let me just turn on see some, um, 
some music for it. Lie little little one see what siever yeah uh, siever oh Now I'm confusing it with something else, it's not what it means. There's a different one. Seeker of The seven is a U, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah. Curse uh, My burning my burning curse yes. It's not for... My burning curse is not for... What was that letter again? I've, I've struck this one for her. He... Not for... The I I I alone will bear it. Be gone. Little one, seeker of curses. My burning curse is not for thee. I alone will bear it. Be gone. <laughs> okay, dog! <laughs> well, it's a burning it's a burning curse, apparently. Cool. He just said, he just said, fuck off. I translated that just to hear, fuck off. My burning curse. I'm a seeker of curses, apparently. Hmm, interesting. Ah. My god. My god, dog. Uh, what other animals is it, is it useful to talk to? Let's see. Amandals. Snails. That guy. Uh, any other animals come to mind?
Anyone stand out? I can think of. What have we? If Death spawned, I can try talking to him. Talk to Death and form a fucking pact. What about little dogs in here? There's like a unique fucking moron in here. A unique sitting little dog over here that doesn't do anything. Sup? I wanna talk to your ass. Yikes. Shit! Pizza ready. One sec. Hello! <clears throat> What's up? Talking to that guy didn't do anything. Let's think. There's more snails in the beginning area. There's Hema dogs. And shulkers in the beginning area. There's there's mouses or rats. How about this? What if a little miss something and try to talk to it? Gotta find an object first though. Any objects? I need objects. Anybody got some objects? Talk to you. Oh, it does say something. Look at that. There's also those guys in here, maybe they, I can talk to them as well. Da, 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 da. Is translated in time.
The flush cannot move. I'm guessing. Yeah. Sign. Sinew and The flesh cannot move. Sinew and tendon only. Escape and death. Getting faster. What about the big guy in here? That was not it. Do you watch something? I could watch something. A week ago, there was a uh, there was a documentary released on Puggy. It's it's fifty five minutes long though. There's a, there's a Puggy two nine like the the. <laughs> it's depressing as fuck, but good. I haven't seen it yet. Let's see. I'm on my deathbed. The biggest regret I, ha I will ever have is knowing that I had a job that every person in the world is this guy fucking kill for. And I fucked it up. I'm gonna be mad about that till I go to the fucking grave. Buggy2988, he's a legend of YouTube. He's been around forever. 
You lost, you lost it all. Wait, 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 hold the fuck up. <laughs> what is this? Why is it filming him fucking? Well, what do you say? Following his downfall from internet fame, right, okay. Gotcha. Turning on chat now while I eat, so don't spoil anything about the game. Mm. For a period of nine months, I had exclusive access to his day-to-day -day schedule, personal contacts, and financial statements. Okay. Uh, there was one girl... I don't know if I should talk about this, Mike, but I'm going to. There was one girl that I dated. She liked a lot of childish things. She liked rubber ducks. That's why I have some of these rubber ducks. And one of my favorite memories with her is us sitting in this tub, her playing with rubber ducks as I, I washed her, and then I, when we got out, I took her to bed. One of the best nights of my life, Mike. Happened right here. Yeah, so when it comes to financial approach, I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Money comes in. Money goes out. For the longest time, my ex-wife handled that shit, but then I got divorced. I don't know where my money is. I don't know what it's doing. The only thing I've ever done with it is I threw it into crypto and then lost a shitload. <laughs> well, here's everything. If you want to see, there's 2,000. 2,700. How long have you been in the tub? <laughs> this, is a, this is a long filming session right here. This has been like five takes before they got this one. Eight dollars in my bank account right now, and let's see if mortgages come out yet. So tomorrow, when they take mortgage out, I'll have about seven hundred dollars to live off of until the twentieth, when I get paid again from YouTube. So I'm just going to live off of seven hundred dollars, and I'll probably sell some cards along the way, and use that money to make ends meet as well. I have a credit card with them that I owe six hundred dollars on, and on top of that, I still a hundred and sixty three thousand dollars on my house i think my net worth is zero once you pull the equity out of the house get rid of the house debt sell off all my collectibles and pay off all my debts i think that puts me at zero dollars shit i'm worthless there's been to see his interview interview okay well he's broke he's yeah, been wasting his money Holy fat. Wait. Despite a gastric bypass, Boogie continues to struggle with his weight. Okay. Wow. He has had like three surgeries, right? Oh. That, no, real shit, that's gonna really, really suck. Like, he can barely get out of a bathtub, man. That's gonna be awful. Leonel Emmy, thank you for the sub. This is the one the ladies love. I call it. My meat apron. I have two meat curtains. There's a second one. <laughs> I have two glorious meat curtains. <sighs> I don't right. like showing it to people, and people don't like seeing it. So that's why I'm going to die alone. Well, my real name is Steve Williams. Uh, I'm known online as Boogie. That's insane. But I've seen this in like in real life. I've seen people this fat, but it's very rare. <coughs> Two nine eight eight because there's a lot of famous Steve Williamses and I'm not one of them, right? Uh, I started a YouTube channel back in 2006, right at the very beginning, and I got famous for comedy sketches as well as like life vlogs and and just sharing my personal life with other people what's up ladies and gentlemen of youtube boogie to 988 coming at my you. ankle dude seeing that dude seeing this this with here with other people what's up that 
it's so like uh, it's so weird because I remember him being like such a such a fucking different person when this was going on compared to now because now I just think he's like a a weirdo just like a, str- a strange strange fella but here it was just like I mean here he was just a fence sitter he was just like whenever whenever there was like a a, a, a like political divide or like any two people com- com- like arguing about something he would always like just be in, like just be a mega gigabrain centrist and like never have an opinion but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at my you. ankle on my left leg and head. Um, but that's just. But. If there was like a, it was, it was like a YouTube debate between like fucking Hitler and the rest of Europe, he'd be like, yeah, but you kind of have to see both sides of it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who's right. You know, you, you know, I, I don't know. Like, that, that's, that's, that's what he was YouTube video would be. As much money as I used to make, and it's not exactly enough to make ends meet. This is where I spend six to eight hours a day trying to figure out how to save my career. What's up? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, we're going to 988 Connoisseur Live. Let's get into the power of the internet. And today, let's talk a little bit about why you got to do better than I did. Right? I've told the audience, I've told you guys, I've told everybody, this is the center of my world. Right here in this recliner with my dogs, watching television, playing video games on that television. But the other day, <laughs> the audio on this TV started to go out. And whenever it would make like S sounds, it would crackle and so i know i'm budgeting but i immediately went to amazon and bought a sound bar for 100 bucks <laughs> expenses 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 other other you have expenses you have like food you have gas you got like electricity you got all this stuff and they were like a, a other unspecified at the bottom for like fucking ten thousand dollars like <laughs> and then the next day the TV stopped crackling, and now I have a hundred dollar sound bar that I don't need. <laughs> but I know I'm supposed to be budgeting right now, but because that's my TV, because that's my only source of entertainment, because it's the only thing I do, it's one of the only things that bring me peace. Like I'm like, I have to be able to hear my fucking TV. But that's it's a bit quiet, hold up. I gotta turn it up. What the fuck is this? Okay, hold up. Turn up volume. That's every addict, right? Like Mitch Hedberg said, I'll just do enough heroin. And then he like OD on heroin, right? So I guess every addict tries to manage the addiction. But I, I don't, don't know, man. We were talking about compulsive spending a minute ago. Holy! What the fuck? Dude, I spent a lot of stuff on, a lot of money on stuff. <laughs> oh shit. You know where a lot of the money went? And like it felt really compulsive at the time. Between 2018 and 2021, Boogie spent over two <laughs> two hundred thousand dollars on sex workers across the U.S. Holy shit! That's what, that, that, that's the unspecified other other expenses. Two hundred thousand dollars. I am a former sex worker escort, and Boogie2988 was one of my clients. Oh, shit. I'm from LA, and I get a message on this website. You can probably guess which one from this guy who looked a lot like Boogie. I took women on vacations, and I took them out to fancy dinners, and I took them to, like, Disneyland and shit. He bought me dinner. He got me a purse that we were talking about over messages. And he got me a couple gift cards, and he spent well over 5000 on just that night. You know the rules. The rules are we're going to go out and eat. We're going to have dinner. Maybe we're going to fuck. And you're going to enjoy a... No! No! The rule says when you buy a prostitute, you fuck her. You don't buy her a $5,000 dinner, you idiot. Nice lifestyle that you don't normally get to What the hell? 
told you, you don't buy really you don't buy her a fucking it. ring. You just fuck her. I told you I was nervous. Um, he did eat a lot of food. I'm pretty sure he got two entrees, which was very unique. It's not a revelation. I like beautiful women. I like to hang out with beautiful women. Fuck beautiful women. We all do. I never got to do that. The women I dated were pretty, sure, but they were like Arkansas eights, <laughs> not <laughs> LA tens. <laughs> With sugaring, I got to fuck some LA tins, and I think that's cool. Great. We got back to the hotel, and I do regret to say that I slept with Boogie two ninety eight. What did you get paid for? It? And I don't mean to what? It's your job. You stupid. You literally get paid. Okay, yeah. If you, if you then then get another profession, get a fucking education, and you idiot. That shame or anything. But there was rules upon rules upon rules, and. It took me a lot of time to find a stick. I am not married with two kids. Oh, oh, I got gift cards like five million dollars. Oh, but I had to sleep with a fat guy. Oh, whoa, we fucking mid. Sleeping with Boogie is one of the reasons I quit sex work. <laughs> is that sexist to me? Sure. Is that womanizing me? Sure. I don't really care. Um, I'm a 48 year old man. I never got to fuck a model. This let me fuck a couple of models. Is that wrong? Dude, I but I, I totally get it though. Like if you listen Boogie2988. This guy, despite how much field of view he takes out of someone's perspective to women, this guy is fucking invisible for his entire life. They don't he's so fat and ugly that he doesn't even exist for the most part. And now he has money, I can buy a prostitute. Great, okay, can go fuck a prostitute. And she looks great, and you get to fuck a model. Awesome. That's per that's that's epic. Good for you. That's imagine how good that's gonna be. You barely ever you barely ever had sex in your life. And then you know you, you finally get an opportunity to do that. Cool, good for you. Like why not? Why not? I wouldn't spend two hundred thousand dollars a year for it, but you know, to each their own, right? Here we have some of the women in this area that are local and ready to go out. They'll go to dinner with you. They'll go to a show with you. Maybe they'll come back to your... What is this? Members.seeking.com. What is this? Is that a... Or is this like a dating site or is this a prostitute site? Place, but they are expecting something in exchange. Uh, but then it's window shopping, right? Like any other meat market like Tinder, you kind of scroll down the, the list of photos until you find... Uh, seeking is the place where beautiful, wealthy, and successful people connect. You deserve the love you give. Oh, shit. Find a relationship built on worth, experience, the luxury that life lived with seeking can offer. Start your dating journey today. Dating? What? How much money does Albina spend on hookers? Dude, I actually... <laughs> I went to a strip club one time, and I lost like a thousand dollars. I got mega scammed. Never again! You go to a strip club one time in your life, and you never go to it again. Uh-uh. Someone that looks interesting to you? I think this girl... In Poland, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The issue was that they were okay. I would not pay to fuck that. Holy shit! I would. I should. I should get paid to fuck this. Jesus yeah. Christ. She's definitely a little thicker than I necessarily would always go for, but there's nothing wrong with that. So I deserve to go to Disneyland with a beautiful girl, right? I deserve to go to to New York and explore Times Square. So truly, a, truly, a, truly a supermodel. Right? Like I deserve that, <laughs> and I want that, and I've never had it. Man, if I had that money back. That would be half of my mortgage right now. That thousand dollars is my entire health insurance payment. I don't know what he deserves it. Well, he made the money for it. I deserve is like a bit of a weird word. Like that's that makes it sound like you you like have a fucking right for it, but no, you got the money. Why not? The prostitutes spent with it, and I hope they spend it in, in good health. Uh, but I sure could use that shit right now. You know, <laughs> you want to go for a walk? So you can, he knows, he know, you can't tell me he doesn't know. <laughs> Leo up, baby, I know, we'll go in a second, I gotta prep your brother. <laughs>
a little thicker than I usually like. Yeah, I mean, okay, so just because you are fat doesn't mean you don't, doesn't mean you like fat women. <laughs> like, I think, uh, yeah, you, 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 like, you can like things that aren't yourself, otherwise you would be gay. You know? He knows it's wrong, he's trying to justify his vices by his serving. Well, he's clearly addicted to this shit, dude. Like, he's a... I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, a transactional sex. Like, if someone wants to sell sex and you want to buy it, then just go ahead, right? But, I mean, if you if you spend $200,000 on that shit, and you're clearly... You have problems. You have mega problems, and you're going to have... Yeah, well, if you can, if you ha if you can afford spending $200,000 on hookers... Fuck it, why not, right? But he can't, so then he shouldn't. That's it, that's the, that's the entire thing. He's great. He's actually, I, I actually really love him a lot. Leo. I know how much these things mean to you. What's it like to have to sell them to be able to live? So selling off these things kind of sucks. Because I've been playing Magic for 30 years, and some of the cards in this box, I opened back in 1994. I opened them in like 96, and I've held on to them ever since. And that's a, like, they're a piece of my childhood. They're a piece of my history. I thought I was gonna get buried with this stuff. This is, this is my stuff. This is me. This is part of me. And uh, I made some money off of YouTube last month, but I did not make enough without a sponsor or something like that. I just, I'm not making enough. So we're gonna go to the game shop but this is gonna keep me from going out on the on the streets, right? Like this is gonna keep me in a house. So I think I think it's Is the entire documentary just boogie is broke or what? This is just I don't have money. Because I don't think we watched it. Like, I've, I've seen 10 minutes, but I, I don't need to see the rest of the 50, right? What is interview? What interview? Where is it? This? <laughs> the N-word is just a word. <laughs> okay, okay, dude! I mean, shit! I didn't think... <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a fucking point to skip to, man. <laughs> that escalated very quickly. <laughs> what the fuck? If you guys left, and these cameras weren't rolling, and I was sitting here alone in the dark, and I said the N-word, there's no magic power to it. So say it. Oh, no, I'm not going to say it on camera where it could hurt somebody. I like offensive humor. I like dark jokes. I say fucked up shit. I think the darker something is. Cancer, rape, murder, child abuse. The darker it is, the more important it is to make jokes about it. Yeah. I feel, I'm sorry you had to go through that, bro. That. Yeah, that's okay. Alright. I mean, I didn't go through it. I'm still alive. She's dead. And, uh, yep, so fuck her. And now she's dead. That's a lot of money, I guess, for a person of color, or is it? Okay. <sighs> yeah. No, that's, uh, Jotra. <laughs> I, I don't know. Someone says you can't put your finger into a clitoris. Somebody here doesn't have a scalpel handy. You splay that fucker just right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, you can wrap it all around your fingers. You just gotta, you gotta shave real thin. Woo, that's disturbing. That's the most fucked up thing. I've no, I plan to shoot you, bud. Please. You pointing a gun at me? Yes. <laughs> Is this what we have to do? Where it really went south is when one guy spent like a month of his time gathering every link, every video clip, everything I'd ever said or done since 1998, and he compiled it into this one huge mega thread. It's like 10, 15 pages long. 
And every time my name would get mentioned on Reddit moving forward, they would all link to that mega thread. Well, these people on Reddit began to bombard my sponsors. Abused his wife, supported child abusers, had attraction to minors, mocked racial minorities, lied about mental health diagnoses. Mocked them about what? Claimed things came from the Holocaust. Claimed good things came from the Holocaust. <laughs> Threatened to kill his own dog. Used his friend's death to promote a new channel. Made fun of a child for having divorced parents. I did that too. Who cares? It's div divorced parents. Okay, yeah. I made I, I made a joke. Okay, there's some really... I, I'm not going to say what joke I made. <laughs> Okay, okay, no, I'm gonna say, dude, I was like 12 years old, we were playing Halo, and a friend of mine was being a piece of shit, taunting and teabagging when he killed me. And my comeback to him, my friend has, has, had lost his mother to cancer like five years ago, and he was like, oh, blah, 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 I'm an idiot. And I said, yeah, well, your mom's dead. <laughs> and he was quiet! He stopped being annoying! He stopped being annoying. To make me. Oh, yeah, uh, what, what, shit. Uh,. Threatened suicide to guilt fans into support. <laughs> Faked harassment emails to gain sim sim sympathy. Wow. What production quality we have here, guys. Uh, flirted with his friend's widow after his death. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> He's got that dog in him, holy shit. Misused patron funds on personal toys. Uh, manipulated his sugar babies and girlfriends. Lied about weight loss progress to gain support. Blamed his audience for not meeting New Year's resolutions. Alright. You look as bad as possible. Every time I got a new sponsor, they would bombard me. And uh, eventually they dropped me. <clears throat> is, is it like half every year? Holy. Dude. 2018, 400. This is, a, this is a pretty good income. This is. That's a. Yeah, you know, if you make this, you could almost actually spend 200k on on prostitutes. If you make this, you can. You can well, it's half your fucking money. <laughs> <sighs> pretty okay income. Damn. It's good money. I don't think that's a tax deductible. Well, I'm assuming they're they're listing the income after tax, so you don't have to do the tax yourself, like surely. Or is this some, or is this some 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 kind of like big brain American type of flex that I'm not aware of? Usually, people say it's after tax. Are you ready? Are you ready to step back into 1988? You ready to go back to my childhood? Because that's what's behind the star. Do you, know what, do you want to know what this represents to me? This is everything that was good about my childhood. And when the I got damn arcade, was years, it 29 like minutes for the time? Except things aren't completely shitty. Starting over, okay. His real job in her, yeah. Okay, or Steve. Okay, what do you prefer to be called? Honestly, Steve. probably Steve. Steve. Let's go with Steve. Okay, Steve. No, this problem. is a job in her, you prefer. And so you are here today. Because you are seeking employment. Yeah. You're seeking out new work opportunities. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about your background and where you think you want to go with the experience that you already have. Um, I did work at a small gaming store back in 2006, 2007. I am disabled, uh, recognized by the state of Arkansas, but also the United States government. There's that. Now, the downside to that is I am extremely depressed. So there's some mental health issues that we bring to the table. And then physically, I, I am morbidly obese. I have no references, uh, no work history, and no education. And when you Google my name, you might see rumors that I beat my ex-wife and I'm also a pedophile. I should mention I'm also a felon. Okay. <laughs> What's the nature of your felony? Aggravated assault. How old is it? About two years. Okay. So I think there are some avenues you could explore. I definitely don't think it's impossible, but you have some challenges. Yeah. Lots of things in life are about your mindset. 
and you're using weight and disability, I can't, I can't, I can't. If that is the attitude that you're gonna have when you approach everything, then you can't, and you won't. I did work in the porn industry for the better part of seven years, so yeah. I mean. Be real with me. Do you really think it would be a good idea to go to a real interview and reference porn? It depended on the job, I would think. Like, at a strip club maybe, but probably not in a more professional setting, I would say. Uh, uh, what would you think his chances are here of getting employment in the next three months? I'm not sure when it comes to the felony. We would have to see cor corporate approval. <laughs> Wait. For that oh, right. That's fucking picture. What, what, what did he do, actually? What was this? Was this the gun thing? Booked into Washington County Jail. Oh, my God. Was it the, the one that's standing there in the, with the gun or whatever? Shot in the air. Oh, that's why. Yeah, but that's you. Sh you can't do that. You can't just like shoot the bullet into the air. It could like it. I mean, it's a, a, a live bullet flying in a suburban. You know, it's. See cor corporate approval for that sort of charge in order to proceed forward with a candidate. And they would ultimately be the ones to make the decision as to whether or not we would feel comfortable presenting someone like that to our clients. The violent felonies, violent crimes, or sexual crimes. Um, hey, Mike. Uh, listen, dude. Uh, I know we're making this documentary and everything, and I know you think I need to get a real job, but I just want to let you know I'm not going to. I I'm not going to walk into some job when I have four million subscribers on YouTube. I'm one of the original YouTubers. What I'm going to do instead is go back to making content, go back to telling stories and entertaining people, and making money doing it. Uh, you want to check back with me in a couple of months? Let's see how things are going. All right? I'll talk to you then. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Good job. <coughs> yeah, so I mean... I think yeah, like the, the a big like issue here would be the uh, when, when you're a YouTuber and you like make it somewhat decently big and you start making... Uh, I, I, reasonably above average salary and then it goes to shit. Like you, you just kind of fall off. And then you try to look into jobs. And I, I, I can only imagine how like demotivating that's going to be for some people to see how much am I going to make from this job? You know? Uh, compared to my 400, 500k a year, essentially, before this. Like, <laughs> that's a, a... Yeah, sad. Sad. This is not... That's it now. We're getting back to it in a bit, though. Things are great. Um, people still mad at me on YouTube. Uh, my view numbers are pretty much close to zero. I'm having trouble breaking 10k on an upload right now. And, Damn. Uh, uh, not, not everything is bad. I've got at least one good thing going on. Can I show you? How old? How old? How <laughs> how old? I'm ten years younger than this guy, but I I would ask her for fucking ID. I would like. So this is uh this is Desi. You can call her Des Desiree. Yep, Desiree. And we've been dating now for months. A couple months. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude Imagine imagine being like a 20 like a 20 23 year old virgin like a guy who's who's like 23 year old and it's like this 40 year old fat fuck is pulling four bitches <laughs> 50 it's 50 holy i just i don't know what it was it was i guess it's his energy is his curly hair his glasses i'm i must be into nerds it's i guess i don't know he's just
This is like contractual work. Undisclosed. There's no way. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Adorable to me. I like him. He was going through a lot. And I randomly hit him up on Instagram. And I told him that I, you know, I support him and that I'm always here for him and stuff. And so it, it started from there. On paper, it just doesn't really add up. Right? It doesn't make sense on paper, but then practice and the reality, there was just something there. So it was pretty crazy, but I just felt it. Holy shit, dude. Oh. I mean, like, you know, she's a grown ass woman. It's fine. I don't, like, I don't really care. But I know that in the internet, like, Twitter, to YouTube, just in general, is gonna like eat him fucking alive for this. She does not look like me. <laughs> I felt I felt an energy connection to him before I even met him, and. I don't know, that's just, that's just how it is. And then the longer we spent talking, I don't know, eventually you just realize we're the same person doing the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Damn, this is... Uh... Same thing, living the same lives, just at different stages. And I can see myself getting married to Boogie. I could definitely... I could definitely see us getting married. In fact, I, we may or may not have talked about it a little bit, and we may or may not sit around fantasizing about it and thinking about what it's going to look like. And, and I called you wifey the other day. She wants. And you loved it. You were yeah. so there for it. If I propose right now on camera. No. No, don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, boogie. Boogie. You got to put a brakes on this thing here, man. Like, I can't. You don't do that. Don't do that. Stop, just, just, if I press, if I press play now, if I press play now, this dumb, this, oh, okay. What would you do? I'd say yes. <laughs> oh. That's a good sign. Okay. False alarm. Boogie has improved my life tremendously. He just makes me happy, the happiest I've ever been. And I'm not alone, and so that he just completes me. Growing up without a father figure has its... Okay. Yep. Yep. Australia. <laughs> I'm talking about it. It's all coming together, huh? Back to Luna said. Uh, yeah. Gaming. I am gay. Hello, Sorehead. N nice. What about the. I can't talk to the whispering heads. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to keep talking to animals. And I'm gonna have a tune off chat now. That was fun. I want to look at some boogie. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're, I'm, I'm close to chat now. We're going back to Lunacid and I'm not reading chat anymore. Sorry, like it's just... I really, 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 really... I don't want spoilers. No spoilers. This is the broken lever. Something's up with that guy. There's definitely something to that guy. It's gotta be. Were there Monta Rays here? Are these permanently gone? Oh no, 
I didn't think you would be permanently gone, man. What the fuck? What the hell was that? Oh, Giga Skeleton. Where's the mana race? There we are. That's some text from the manta ray. Rear. Okay. I should leave. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay, that's it. Right. Yep. Okay, time to translate. Uh-huh. <coughs> New text. What does it say? Uh, W Wall It's a K, right? K Walking one Walking one not uh shit. Walking one not uh and that's an F uh, walking one not affected uh by Curse, uh, bike, we, G. Guard Guarded Now we I said an L? No, it says it's um we uh, 
Walking one, not affected by a curse. We guarded this area long ago, and now we have lost our old bodies. Okay. Cool, thank you for the info, Manta Ray. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, turns out this doesn't take too long anymore. That's nice. Hey, Ochoa. Hope you're being safe in your travels. Clive, what's up? Hi. Have you told about how the cursed knight was defeated by the warrior Joshua? <laughs> no! The story goes that a brave soul named Joshua ventured deep into the forbidden depths of the Great Well and eventually came across the cursed knight Suscarius. Suxar Suxarius. Using the power accumulated from the journey downwards and with help of some friends, Joshua was able to shatter several of the curses on the knight that were keeping him immortal. After a great battle, Suxarius was Suxarius was defeated, and then nothing stood between Joshua and the sleeping old one. But rather than waking up and bring an end to this place, the kind Joshua allowed it to sleep for a little while longer. They came back up to visit with their friends, and the rumor is that they are still exploring the Great Well. Hey Joshua, have you ever told you about the Lyrian Mage Calamis? At least I think that's how it happened. My memory is not at all. What? Yes. <laughs> cool. Alright. Uh, let's talk some more animals. Warp. Uh, animals. Animals. Let's talk to the... Anub... The, 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 for the furries. We can talk to the furries and the snakes. Dude. Talk to those assholes. A jawbone. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here? Take it to Invincible. You gone, though. Lava Man, where you at? There you at. What? Why does it say? Why does it say care lies, Sir Hicket, the invincible? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Nice bug, maggot. Dog game. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I can just read this one out, fuck it. What does it say? Foo... Oh, it's it's like overlapping. I, I gotta, I gotta translate it. Dialogue Lava Dog. There it is. Okay. Fine, I'll translate this too. Is that an L? How do you... How do you... SP... SP...
Fool, how do you speak to us? We are not of this realm. Alright. Uh huh. Search for dogs, continue. Ah, that's fucking. We are not of this realm. What? That's crazy. What about Anubis? Anubis. What about that? What about the snakes? Can I speak to a mimic? <laughs> also, will this ever have any like effect other than just like flavor text? So far it's only flavor text. I don't think I've ever learned anything that's like actually useful in terms of solving puzzles or anything like that. So there's that. Skeleton. Oh, let's talk to Death also if I can find him. Seems identical. Can't talk to Mimix. Noted. Can I open it? Silver lost. <laughs> okay, dog. He's yoinking. Fool's gold. Nothing. <laughs> Let's see what the skeleton has to say. This one is probably not very important. I'll do. I'll be quick about it. Dialog är skällig. Klin. Så är det P? Vi är... Är det K? I, right? No, it's a uh, J. Join us. Join us soon. <laughs> <coughs> Clinging weakling, join us soon. Says the skeleton. Uh huh. Checking that my stream is still functioning. Functioning. So first off here we want to talk to some... Uh... Do we have the... Uh... Curse blade. Really? Nothing from this guys? Ampu. No. Let's 
It's a leveling weapon? Oh, it's not. Shadow Blade. They didn't say shit. What about uh, there's snakes here, and that that's about it, I think. Yeah, nothing. Snakes don't say shit. These guys don't say shit. Oh, it doesn't. Really? Oh shit, am I dead? Yeah, you're dead. If you're there, you're dead. Okay. That's fine, now we know. Anyways. Uh, give me more. All fine? All free. Just save some time. Oh, what about the Suscarians? Wait, the Suscarians, what's up? I want to go here to find those, like, Ampu dogs. Suscarians and, um... Yeah. Suscaria. Where are you at? Suscarian. It's one up here, I know that. There you are. Nothing. Quiet fella, what about the, the skeletons over here? Nothing. Uh huh. What about the old fuck down here? Slumbering maggot. What does he think? Chamber of Fate. You know, the uh, the curse of the fallen saint that this guy had, it was probably one of many curses that he had. It could be. Since we, we it said we slid a bunch of curses that he had. So he had like a, he had a bunch, he was collecting them. I must save the game and try to kill that like burning dog down there. That might actually be a uh, Etna. I hope that, I hope the burning head is not Etna. Because I'm gonna kill it. I don't want to kill Etna though. So let's use this on the on the on the dog then here. What's up? No? Okay. Fuck it then. How do we get out? Shit. Oh yeah. No. 
So long ago, at the end of the first Magic Age, two kingdoms fought an endless war. First experimentation was done with magic, and eventually curses were created. Strong dark magic weaved in an in abhorrent layers, which corrupted and maimed its victims. And so once valiant knight Tuscarius fought with complete devotion to his kingdom, and so the once valiant knight Tuscarius fought with complete devotion to his kingdom, but as the wars went on, he fell victim to many of these curses. Conflicting and disfiguring curses, which lead to him becoming an enormous snake-like. He slaughtered thousands in his mishappen form, but kept a frail thread of lucidity. Until one battle, while fighting a great sorcerer, he was almost killed, and he finally renounced his leftover humanity. He defeated his foe along with both armies of the Warring Kingdoms, but as he approached the castle gates to his own beloved kingdom, an echo of devotion came back. And with his last lucidity, he flung himself into the void that would later become the Great Well. They say that even now he lives as the threshold of the Great, great One, serving as his guardian. And as years passed, many knights have heard, it, heard his tale and, and follow his teachings of absolute devotion while harboring cursed misshapen bodies. At least that's how I think it happened. Yeah. Uh huh. Limitations. No. Another time. Yep. I mean, it's an animal. Does it say? Oh, it said the beast. Yeah, yeah. Ancient spell used to confer with inhuman things. No doubt outlawed by inhuman things. Demonic pacts. Okay, inhuman. As long as it's inhuman, I can talk to it. It wasn't just animals. It's an inhuman. That that broadens my horizon a little bit. Um, because there's a lot of there's a lot of inhuman things in this game. <coughs> that much I know, for sure. So there's a fine line, inhuman and animal. There's different. That means I definitely could have talked to Jotun. Aha. Shulker dialogue, holy shit! Da, da, da. Where's my, where's my Photoshop? There you are. Okay, sorry. Um, opening dialogue shulker. Into Photoshop you go. Bam. Put on some epic grimble music. Change the desktop view. Translate this bitch real quick. Uh, cor... P. Corpse. God. Corpse good. Food. Food. Co. Uh Corpse good food food Corpse good food food comes down from above dribbles down 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 okay epic very good very nice very good shulker very nice ah that's not what it's supposed to be Yep, that was that. Uh, not a, a grand revelation, but something.
I'll, I'll, I'll do them in, in like pairs now. I'm just gonna just keep doing this and turn on the music. Uh, dialog. Uh, dialog snail start. There we go. As long as something is inhuman, I can talk to it. Theoretically. Should be some inhuman things down here. Should be. Uh, what about you guys? I mean, these guys don't have brains, so I should probably I cannot talk to them. Yeah. Read? Oh yeah, that was that. You know, if you don't have brains, then it's gonna be hard talking. Uh. Is there anyone here with a brain? Uh. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, I'm not gonna have much luck down there, I guess, I'm guessing. <clears throat> if you don't even have fucking brains. So let's go here. Maybe a cube or something, or the fairies. No, not the fairies. Fairies don't know shit. Ah. Your cubes said not something though. Good. Okay, let's do your cube. Uh, this forest is... Of course it's sacred, yeah. What T-R-E... That's the, that's the Yakub. God fucking damn it, these folders, man. The force is sacred, I'll protect it. Yeah, shut, shut up. And we have the snail. Small. Slow, this is slow and slow and soak. Small blunts in one one. You should slow and soak like we do.
Well, that's the same dialogue we got earlier, but I didn't fuck up the translation. You should slow and soak like we do. Like, I mess this up every time. Every time. Okay, two more translated. Still nothing useful. Love it. Sweet. One. You. Smell. So. Sweet. Bun. Bun. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, anyways. I'm not gonna translate that. I, I mean, I already did, but I'm not gonna, like, put it in. Sweet one, this smells so sweet, bun bun. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. What about in here? Oh, look at that. Feel... Feel the earth... Become... The... Dirt... Connect... Uh, connected... We... I mean, I don't think it's, it's like important at all, but... I'll be the judge of that. With Thal? Connected with Thal? Okay, yeah. Uh, connected... Yeah. With all. Connected with all. Okay, a lot doesn't... Feel the earth become the dirt. Connected with all, yeah. Useless, useless, useless. I wonder if there's like a single part of the game where there's like an enemy that's, that you will learn something cool from with this. That could have been your turn, but... Holy big one. Long text from the, the, from the Neptune. Whatever it is. Those are the only enemies here, so far as I know. Yeah, we can just leave. What did it say? Let's see. Let's reboot this one. It says... Feel the... Water... Become... A... Wave.
where Feel the water become a wave in an ocean. We all part the waters with our movement. Okay, well, it's like, okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks, epic. Great. Did I die? Oh, no, I should have put him, okay. Uh, so far, completely useless, but uh, let's see what else there is. Uh, we've been here, we haven't been to the, to the fetid marsh yet. There's rats there, which I guess I could talk to. Snails here, there's a chimera here. Is there anything else in human I could talk to? For hints? Death doesn't show up though. Like, I wouldn't mind talking to death, but it doesn't fucking show up. I'll try one more time. There's also the you something. You Migo? Migo. Yeah, Migo is here. The paintings talk? Right, they are in human, I guess, yeah, sure. Fair enough. Painting. It's not called a painting. Painting dialogue unlocked. Whoa. Migo has a lot on his mind. Holy shit. Whatever the fuck I'm even this. Amigo. Where did that come from? Didn't I? I, I swear. I here I'm assuming this is the mayor. Yeah, okay. Uh, just like renaming stuff. I want to go to the Rat King too. Should be down there somewhere. In here.
Nothing. Oh. The one unique enemy here. Oh well. Oh, where that thing went. In mana. There's just like a random fucking TV in here. Uh, okay, so the death if we can if he will show up, I guess he might. He might. Wait, I know the way to death. It's not here. It's, it's past that uh, corridor. If it's on the right. Uh, forward, forward, left. Can we talk to death? Surely. My movement is getting crazy, dude. Holy shit. Oh. Dog? Uh, let's go with this one then. Okay, so ch chat, uh, real shit. Have I lost my chance to meet death? Just yes or no? Because he doesn't show up anymore. No. No. Okay. Closing chat. Why the fuck is he showing up? Is this he hasn't shown up all, all day today. And it's annoying. You suck. <sighs> yeah. Usually it seems to be a timer when you're here. Like it ticks down and then suddenly it's just death is approaching. I thought it was initially when I left. This area. When I left it, he up here. He, he said that's approaching. Like it was. I don't know if it was coincidence or not. But like literally, the second I was done exploring here, and I go the other way out again, that's when it said death is approaching, right? And that was like kind of tense. Like boom, this is approaching. And then I just went through the thing, and I kind of just left, and blah 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 blah, and then you know whatever. Uh, but lately, man. Today, he just hasn't shown up. It could be lunar cycle related. I could, I could reset my lunar cycle to what it was earlier this morning and just go back with lunar, another lunar cycle and they will maybe appear. It could be that. Because that's one thing that I've changed is just my, which day it is. So maybe, maybe I was just unlucky first time I got here and that's just uh, showed up because it was a lunar cycle, a certain lunar cycle or some shit. I don't know if the lantern then. What's that? Maybe the lantern is something?
Where's this death fella? I feel like there's something here. Like there's something. This 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 place is just like too empty. Uh, what, like what you find here basically when when you get here, you find jack shit. You go all the way in here and oh, sh sure death comes after you. But the items you find here are just like n nothing burgers basically. Like it's just a bunch of like health vials, some mana stuff, like uh, pretty petty rewards for like what seems to be like an, its own area for it, right? So. And uh, there's a whole maze to get to it. Uh, that's, that's small maze, a small maze, granted, to get to it. So, like, what, what's the what's the big idea with that? If all you get here is nothing and death shows up, and then he doesn't suddenly. Like... Okay. Before I go ahead and restart my game, I s uh, do I just set my timing? I could just go set my timing, set my date, and not ask chat. I'm a bit lazy, though. I don't... Because then I have to set it back into full moon... Is it because of it? Is it because of which day it is? Is it because of the day or? Nope. Okay. Okay. Why is this showing up? Why did death approach last time? I mean, I've been doing things just the same. The first time I got here... What did I do then? What did I do the first time here? What is the difference now and the first time? As far as I can tell, nothing. Oh! <gasps> he came! What? Why? That's odd. Suddenly he just came. Well, I'm down. Bro, it's not gonna catch me. I'm way too fast for that. I think he's over there. Can't talk to him. Hmm. He's a skeleton. Why is death coming from me though? Is there anywhere I can kite death to make something happen? Hmm. 
It's disappointed that I can't talk to the guy. That's a bit, that's a bit unfortunate. Does not like weapons. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't like jump over there for some reason. Okay. Hmm. Do you have any spells I could use? In these situations, it's usually either you kite the thing into something, or you have a specialized weapon for to deal with it. Or like a spell. Many such cases. Death is here. I want to pass it, but okay. Thank you. Oh, there's just, there's a okay. This is like a different place. This is probably where we spawn them. Okay, different different tombs. The brood doesn't do anything against death. Maybe we some real shit about death. He's fast, hold on. Stop it, man. Oh no. Does he get faster or faster or something? Seems to be getting faster. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? I'm faster though. Okay. Fair. Fair and balanced. Fair and balanced. <laughs> Could click it. Dog! Let's see what uh, Migo says for good. What does Migo say? Migo. He has so much dialogue. Holy shit. It's a fucking main character. Main quest NPC. So sour. Sour dried. Sour dried skin. We with within the sin Shut up, soundtrack. <laughs> Sins of Sins of your 
Black. W I T with this The scent thing. What? The D E S C E N T I N G. See the below amber. Crooked. Sour dried skin within the sins of your eyes. Black future with hungry pores. Descending growth with seed. Below amber crooked limbs thrown apart. <laughs> okay, yeah. Great, man. Alright, Migo. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing, dude. What does the mayor say? Oops. I got that mail by accident. Mayor. Uh. Ha 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 ha. It speaks such a delight in death. Okay. When is this gonna when is this gonna pay off, chat? 
When is this going to pay off? I... When is this going to pay off? When am I going to find the one enemy that actually matters to talk to? Oh, like my process of elimination, I think I've like done almost all of them now. Or like things to talk to. Well, there's some vampires in the bats, I guess. This is scuffed. I gotta fix that at some point. Anyways, uh, yeah. Talking to shit. Continued. The hunter. Nothing. 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 The bat speaks. El Bato talks. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Abyss down here. Don't think there's actually any creatures down there, though. Uh, the blue here has some ghosts. I guess. And what not? That one? Nothing? Door won't open. I'm gonna get blinded, fuck. Don't do it. I beg. There's the VHS room with the... Uh, uh, do we just watch the VHS? I guess. I don't know, man. Is there, uh... Ugh, dude. Let's just find out. Let's just find out. Let's watch the VH VHS do something. Let's see.
I mean, it's telling us to wake up the fucking fish. It's telling us to wake up the fucking fish. That's what that's my read is just just like if you tell if you wake up the fish and wake up the the fish of the fish and the fish of the fish of the fish and the fish of the fish of the fish of the fish, then you can kill death. Like eventually. That's the that's the that's like the the what I take from that I guess. Just kill a bunch of shit. Or wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, Joe Biden. So I'll go wake up the fish. Fuck it then, I'll go wake it up. For good or for worse. Bato, bato. Oh no. Oh, wait, this goes in here. This is leading the way. I don't think it's leading anywhere, really. No. No. Wake up, the fucker. That should be that. Okay, so since last time I woke this thing up, the game saved on uh, without my like. The game saved without letting me know. Uh, it's gonna do it again. Am I gonna be fucked if I do this? <coughs> it's fine. Talk to Claire, please. No. Clive, fucking hell. Uh, no. One day, speckled moonlight liquid from the sky and landed on Calamus while I was walking through the Garden of Lyria. This bird named with a vision, one which he greatly disturbed him. The great one awakening from the depths and bringing an end to a rage magic. Calamus acted quickly and ventured across known lands, collecting powerful holy and black magic. Using this, Calamus would perform a rope forbidden rite to enhance the poison fog that would lull the great one back to sleep. Under the pale grey sky, I conducted the ritual to cause the great moon to fall. And cause the great moon to fall. The moon had been steadily dissolving and carving a crevice into the earth above the great one before, but now it flowed in a great torrent. Yeah, we all did this one. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, I read chat. Oh, the, all, all I got from that is that I, I'm missing some spells apparently. Can I have this? I'm missing some spells, but I should have like... I, I don't think there's like that many more left. Uh, I mean, I've gone through all of the game and uh, got now quite a few secrets as well. I'm assuming if I'm missing any spells, it would be like from anywhere from one to five more spells. Would be my estimate. Five tops. Any more than that, and I would be, I would genuinely be, I would be surprised. I would be surprised if it was that. But yeah. I'm assuming one you get probably get through alchemy. Some you get through. Yeah, there's different means. I'm just gonna go wake up this fuck over here just to see what happens. Just to see what happens. We're wrecking, we're wrecking it up. Rave of the Sleeper. What's up, dude?
Same thing? I think it's the same thing. It looks like the same thing. Some water. Newest of the fallen, take up your sword and fight. What did it say? <laughs> Why am I here? Okay, so my my white VHS tape is now forever used. That's so that's something I wanted to avoid, but okay. <laughs> because I didn't get anything at all from that uh, from that uh, video. That video didn't help me in any way whatsoever. Uh. Like, really, it, didn't, it only told me to wake up the beast, but it's like, okay, but I'm already considering do that, doing that, like, it, it, the first VHS tape was like, okay, that's cool, now it's like a, a thing, right? Uh, the second one was just like, just the fucking dog shit. So that was just underwhelming. At that point, I'm kind of out of ideas. Let's go over the uh, steps again. So we slay the, the magical beast, and then... The Serpent Flow of Souls to the Afterlife. That could be something either with death or with the River of Souls in the in the area over here. Uh, desecrate a shrine to an elder being. How would you desecrate the shrine? And what's an elder being? I'm assuming it's the guy that's like right outside of that, that area. Like there's a... Um, Okay, if we go here, there's this guy bleeding like a bunch of... Like, there's actually light wherever we hover this, does that mean... Is that like... No, I'm just so. Uh, yeah, we could desecrate that, I guess, but... Uh... How would one desecrate? And have you come across any shrines dedicated to elder beings? Shit. Yeah, talking to talking to shit didn't help at all. Uh, we got to learn that I'm a curse seeker from the dog in the prison. That's about it. That's the only like dialogue that makes sense. That he has a burning curse, and the burning curse is his to bear apparently. And doesn't want me to have it. Uh, 
I guess I could try killing him. Try shooting him a bit. See what happens there. Let's see what happens if we shoot the thing. That's one thing I wanted to experiment with. Just see what happens. Wrong area. Whoops. Any more curses? Any more curses? Get the goddamn ceiling when I jump. Holy. These dogs are annoying as hell, though. Ah. Wrecked dogs. What's this? The world twists around me and through me. But victory lies in not living times if I too will change with them. I have lost Lyria, I have lost my humanity, and I have become a brittle old cold and precise in death. Right. Maledictus. Ow. He doesn't care. Health zero. Maledictus. Huh. Zero curses. Yeah, okay, it's so. Yeah. So maybe if I get like a uh There's the um The um, um yeah the 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 death thing that I have the funny death fracture death that could be that that could be a part of it fracture death and the sword we can hit him with that maybe he will die and we can yoink his curse maybe if uh, if the game will allow it. Do you have anything I could combine with that? Let's just check if I have something. If I already have the thing, I need to combine with it. 
Could be. A broken sword faction death. The last thing, uh, I don't know what to do. Unfortunate. Fermos, well. Crystal Shard. We have some, uh, uh, yeah, recipes now. Health file. God damn. Whoops. C oh, the candle, right? Spectral candle, yeah. What if you just combine the fracture death with the broken sword? Okay, worth a shot. Just having nothing there, you know? Um, yeah. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I didn't do that. Crystal orb. Can we read on that a bit more? This is what we got for, for, for being in the game. Uh, let's see what it is. An ornately decorated crystal orb covered in a thick layer of immovable dust that prevents you from looking into it. Perhaps at a later time, this will fall and reveal something. It has no current use. This could also be like a lunar cycle thing where you have to wait days. Okay, I'm gonna ask chat. Chat, is that thing tied to lunar cycles? No use. Alright, so that orb is useless. Oh, this point I kind of stumped. I, I actually have no idea. I thought I, I thought I thought I had a bunch of. I actually made a bunch of progress today and found a bunch of things, but like they just don't make sense, really. I feel like um, there's been so many like there's been so many like good hit like the, the VHS thing was really cool. Uh, the um, the fact that you can talk to animals is really cool, but then again, the enemies don't actually fucking say anything and they don't seem to have any use. So why, why the fuck would you have it, right? They just say a bunch of nonsense, anyways. So I don't see the point. Can't even talk to death. Which is sad. Hmm. No black books. Fat admirer has rats, but who cares about fucking rats? Sanguine seeds full of water, I don't wanna go there. Oh man. Ugh. Is the okay chat, I, 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 one more question. Is the is the is the 
a thing that I need on the boat trip on the way to the Moonlight Sword. Because I don't want to go there because it's full of fucking water. But is that like a... No. Okay. Thank you. Because that would be terrible. Uh, at this point... I haven't really gotten anything to work with. One more question. Is this, a, is this an issue of finding a hidden door or some shit? Or is this, am, I, am I supposed to do something clever now or just click a fucking door? Yes. Oh no. Is, is it is it is it in the is it in the forlorn arena? Is it here? <laughs> yes. I've been looking there for so long. I know I yeah, but I'm saying like it's it has to be there. I know it's there, but I can't fucking find the thing, dude. Okay, last question. Is it in the fucking earth area? Yes, yes. It's above the ground? Yeah, uh, dude, uh, that's fine. I don't care anymore because I've been looking through this area so much. So fucking much, dude. Like, I've been, I, I was like, it has to be here. It all makes sense if it's here. It has to be here. But I can't fucking find it. I just, I just hasn't, I haven't fucking seen a thing, you know? My good lord. That, I'll, I'll allow that back. I mean, I literally asked for it, but yeah, like, Jesus Christ, man. My assumption would be it's somewhere in this area, because here it's just, like, really open if it's, like, above the ground. It could be here. Give me a tornado. Yeah. You know what? I don't care what you have to say. I really don't at this point. It could also be that there's a, like, a vine stretching up, and then there's, like, a, a hidden door on top of that, for example. That could be... That could be it. So there's, like, a hidden door above ground, which has never been a thing in the game ever, but, yeah. If you just see, like, a random climbable vine somewhere, that could be a decent hint for it. Which is pretty clever, all, all things considered. Yeah, that was just a bit too, too well hidden for me. I'll see what I'll see what this one is. Find it though. I'll I'll be the judge of that. But I do have a reputation for being fucking blind. Holy. Guessing it's a bit further towards the start then? I've seen the wines. What? 
fuck? Where where actually is the fucking mines? Or the or the thing? You know what? Now that I, I even I, I even know what to look for now, but I still can't fucking find it. Like, then it's probably really fucking well hidden in that case. Holy, like I. I Actually, where though? What the fuck? Oh, nice. I know there's one here, but like, there's, this is like a roof, so there can't be. No way, this is it. That's it? That, that is, that's the only thing that's like even remotely close to having like a square outline. Ready your TFs. If this, I, you know, I don't blame myself at all if that's, if that's, if that's it. I don't blame myself at all, like holy. Holy water. Does it get equipped? Fuck no. No. I just drain all my health, by the way. Holy. There's no way that's it. it like, it's, can that actually. Wow! Okay. You know what? That's it? That's the hit? In an area with this much fog? Holy, okay, I'm turning off chat now. Jesus Christ, there's no way. That one was, that, that, you know what, if, if, if there were, cl like, climbable wines, or like, uh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. that's, that's like a bit. That's a bit, uh, I don't know. A little bit well, too hidden? Some might even say unreasonably hidden. <sighs> that's a that's a rough one, dude. That's a rough one. Fracture life, fracture death, all in one sword. All right, holy fuck! Holy shit, that was a yeah. The other one was fine, because you go into the secret room, there's nothing, and it's like, well, where can I go? Oh, oh, up, right? Sure. This one? Jesus. I don't know, like, if it was a thing that was used ever in the, in the otherwise in the game, sure, but, like, it's... You you never you never really thought anything like that in an intuitive way, so... <laughs> It's just kind of unreasonable to expect someone to do that. And whatever, whatever, I'm gonna stop molding. That was a bit insane, though. A little bit, a little bit, uh, yeah, crazy. Little bit. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> Let's 
Limbo created. A result of perfected alchemical processes, a blade held delicately in the twilight of light and dark prevents curse and blindness from ailing the user and does both light and dark damage. Hehe. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Okay, we got a cool sword. Dude, you're true level. A little bit of resistance. Never hurt anyone. Never hurt anyone. Uh, b -b 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 try that on the dog. Limbo. Hit him with limbo. Light and dark. Did he just fucking bleed? Ain't no way, but we're always bleeding. Roof, roof, roof. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bitch. Dog. Okay, whatever. My god. Uh, what do you store for then? Death? Do I hit death with it? No, this is not gonna kill death. There's no way. It could just be a good- it could just be a strong sword, in that case. Prevents curse and blindness. Both light and dark. Okay, so we're not really- not really any further, I guess. This doesn't really change anything. As far as I know. Blade. This thing is a lot harder. I tell you what. <coughs> hmm. Well, that's disappointing. But I'm gonna try hitting the guy up there with the fucking lucid sword. What do you have? <coughs> My god. What did it do? Dog. Shit! I was hoping that would help me, but it doesn't. As far as I know.
Oh, that's an angel. Or he has like the tail or whatever. <clears throat> Sounds familiar. <coughs> I think I've read about him. I think I read it. Bro does not want to talk. Okay. That's fine. We don't have to. I am being mono drained. I'm gonna back here. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, the VHS stuff didn't go anywhere. It was just dumb shit. The sword was just a sword, as far as I can tell. The flavor text doesn't tell me it's gonna be anything more than that. Uh, decent communication didn't really do anything. The only thing left is to try to do the. Uh, the spite, the get the tokens of spite. Uh, and if you can get three of them, you can pass through and get an ending. Uh, although some of it might be a bit too late since we have beat the game already. And some of it might be, have to be done during certain quests. For example. But, yeah. I don't know, man. What about now, Shadow? Is it still just click a fucking door or is it something else? Okay, it's no more click doors. Okay, thank you. As long as I don't I know I don't have to click fucking doors, then yeah. As long as that's the case. Then I then uh, that's all I like. Then I'm happy. I don't want to like. I I I'm 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 at this point. I'm tired of clicking doors. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be real with the chat. I really am. I'm, I don't want to click doors anymore. But it prevents curse. Maybe I can hit death with it. Let's go hit death with it. Oh shit! Strength. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Level up warp. Uh, death. Kill him. Because he curses me. And if I'm not cursed, maybe I can punch him. Not that I think he's gonna do much. It's just a fucking sword. It's like jack shit damage, but yeah. Jack your shit, dude. Amigo! Fuck you. I keep forgetting where the way down was, but yeah, whatever. I'll find it if I just keep walking. Don't worry about it. Angry Mego sounds. Here's the way down. Alright, where's that at? Where's he at? I can barely kill a fucking mare with this thing. Epic. Hello, mares. Should be uh, coming up on this soon. 
I'm so fast you can... There, oh yeah, that's the right over here and then the left. Hello. That's when I'm on the other side, I've been able to slay or whatever. But it's Maledictus, and then there's death. Uh, yeah. I don't think, I can't think of anyone else. I guess there's the final boss, like... Yeah, the dog. And now we wait. Yeah, I mean the sword does seem to counter death. Like he he curses you. He just he doesn't blind you. He makes you bleed, but it doesn't blind you. But it makes you cursed, and this prevents curse. So maybe, maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Perhaps, perhaps. I don't know what we to find out. We hit him for a bit. We do a little bit of punching. Hopefully he will show up when I'm done fucking bee hopping around this fucking. You know. Will 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 will. Any time now. Death! Do you just speed like the game? Actually. Dog. And it's time now. <sighs> oh, JC Vivo. Dog, are you using an amp for your 770s pros? And is it better than without one? I'm not using an amp, it's connected straight into the computer. Uh, when you do headsets, you just gotta like buy the one that it doesn't require that many ohms. Maybe you can get like slightly better audio quality if you get one that requires an amp, but like if you do that, then you are a nerd. So just get a normal one, like a normal person. <coughs> Dude! Where is he? Is it like a don't bring light into my lair thing? Won't cast spells in my lair? Chat, question, have I been doing something on accident every time here to make death spawn? Human not blue for this light. No, is it actually just wait for two years?
Yes. Is it? Does it take that long? It takes forever, dude. Oh my god, I gotta be here for like two years for the fucker to come. Holy fuck. But I mean, it makes sense. The first time I got here, I spent a lot of time in the first area. I spent a lot of time in this maze. And then I spent a lot of time here. And then just I'm about to leave. Oh, dude, death approaches. What the fuck? And then, you know, that's, that's, that's that. But now I just really just run in in two seconds. And then I just sit here and wait like a dog. Dog. Dog death. So every time I want to try a weapon at death, I have to wait uh, <laughs> like two years for its fucker to spawn. What if I mutilate this guy? What does death think about that? Death! You're slow as fuck. <sighs> Any day now. Any day now. Surely. Surely death will just show up. I hit him. Nothing happens. I go back to doing nothing. And I hit uh, I, everything else in the game with this stupid sword. Until something happens. Hey! Hello. You bastard. There he is. <laughs> Death has died! Dude, Death Sight! Back when life was first expelled, a farmer, their flock they, f they held, clutching life, they did weep so, death became the end we know. No matter st strive or fear or rage, it seeks out and unlocks life's cage. While we hate to hear it so, death has us has us loved the life we know. Nice. I am I'm death now. Now you die. You all die. Now I'm coming for you, Maledictus, you piece of scat. You hear me? Maledictus. Maledictus. A blue burning among us. I'm gonna go kill him. Slay. You're dead! You're dead! Death comes for you too, Skellington. That's right. What damage does this deal? Light and dark. I think that's dark. I don't know. Time to slay. What will you learn? That your axes have... Oh, but death, that, what happens if death dies? By the way, did I get some, some spite coins? Uh, 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 uh. Strange coin. 20! Yep, we disrupted this flow of souls to the afterlife. We got 20 coins. One more thing, one more epic deed, and then... And then we can uh, pass. We can pass through the gate of uh, Among Us. Epic gaming. Fuck you. It's time. Cool new weapon. Test has died. And I have killed him. 
How the fuck do I leave this place? I don't know. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Because this game is sometimes AIDS. No, fuck the noble scripts. How do I get out? Probably this way. Yes! Yes! No. Y Hello? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna hit you with the dust sight. What do you think about that? Maledictus, you bastard. Wait, actually, what is what is what is Etna saying? Think about this, or Demi? Hello, I have the cool site that you were talking about. What do you think? Look at that. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? Where did they all go? What? Bro Where are they? I want to talk to Ash to, uh, to her What the hell man? Hiya! Bitch! <laughs> yeah, you just wait. I'm gonna upgrade this site, I'll come back and stick it up your ass. Fuck you. This thing needs a lot of XP though, holy shit. The music is different, isn't it? Yeah, the music has changed, what the fuck? Because I killed death. The fuck was that? What the hell was that, man? I don't know why I try that. Woof. Yep. Let's see. I want to see if it's like we got the death scythe, right? Uh, do enemies re not? Do enemies still respawn? It could be that I'm making them not respawn. Like, I would be open to that idea. Currently, I don't see any dogs here. Okay, there's dogs here. Okay, good. So, they're, 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 they're not like perma dying if I kill them. Okay. But something has clearly happened. Now that death died, all of the dudes in the. Uh, my, my, my base are gone. Why? 
Why are they gone? Where are they? Let's go to back to basics here. So what the fuck's happening? Hey yo. What's this? Is it like right? oh! What the fuck? Spectre? That was so creepy. What the hell was that? What a creepy fuck. Mana drain. Hey yo. What? Bro. You creepy fuck. What's happening? Fuck you, snail. I don't know if I want to go down there, dude. I don't even know if I want to go down there right now. Death comes from all, for all. Even Milk Snail. Oh shit. Milk Snail got a shell though. God damn. Die Shulker. What the fuck were those specters even? I don't understand what that was. Did someone die? Why did the place get like haunted all of a sudden like, you know? The fuck is that? But yeah, definitely one level of the site, man. Schley. Need to Schley. I also wanna find Demi. Whatever the fuck she wants. I wanna show her my new scythe. <laughs> my big, my big hard scythe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so funny. Wow. Let's go to the crypt. The, the absolute last place I want to go now. If something happened here? Oh, it's already getting spooky. These things look like horrifying. Look at that. Actually creepy as fuck. Jesus Christ. Spectres. Here comes death! Good evening, dogs of the Undercrypt. Yeah, they're here. Oh, there's many of them. Sounds like a fucking ambulance. Bye. What are these things? Okay, I'm gonna have to find a faster way to level this thing, man. It's taking forever. Someone mentioned coffins was a good uh, way to do it. Coffins. Is it dead people's spirits? Oh, I have to, I have to do death jo death jobs for him, don't I? Three people here, three spirits, or whatever, or something like that. that I mean, that, that that could be something. Is that it? <laughs> I relieved him of his fucking job. It's like, oh, yeah, did you do it, then moron? There's a bunch of maggots laying around. 
that I have to clean up. Yeah, I'm next to a corpse is this guy. Fair enough. Yeah, the guy there is dead. Okay, okay, so it's kind of predictable where they are actually. Sort of predictable. Bye bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Long ago I heard the tales of Abdul and his temple, how they managed to reach enlightenment and sh escape, but they are still here to the... Here at last, at least their bodies are. Seems like they have a max damage they can take in the limbs, but in the body they can just take, get one shot. So that's nice. That's neat. Music is getting even worse. It's spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Spooky as hell, boy. I think scared to strength at all. And I wonder if you know. Rock bridge. What's up here? Spectres? Yep. Quite a few, actually. They just like fucking appear. Yep. 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 Still wonder where my where my 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 homies went. Etna and all those dogs. What the hell? Yeah, leveling this thing is up is gonna take a while, I guess. It's gonna take a minute. There's a ghost over here. Yeah. Yeah, this is not doing its job, it's just me now. Which makes sense. It's fair enough. Fair enough. It's the most useless tablet ever. <laughs> yeah. Why did where did they go? Fuck did I do? Oh, a book. Took everyone to hide for a while. I have this this feeling over 
feeling overwhelming me. Something just feels horrible. We'll come back after things feel alright again. Be careful, okay, Demi? Oh. Well, at least you left a note to me. That's nice. I appreciate that. A bad feeling, huh? Oh. All right. Well, have it that. Did I do something bad? I just killed death. The game is like, oh, now you done it. Now you done it. It's like, bro. I just killed out some maggot that's been griefing me for the past playthrough. Ah, that's right. That's right. Give me your shit. Die. Man, level of anything is low. We're almost halfway there. We're like 20, we're like 30 percent? Yeah, 30. We on a grind. Empiric ashes. Wow, I love this music. It's so good, wow, guys. This music is fantastic. Absolutely loving it. Banger! Oh shit! Yeah, okay. That's pretty crazy, dude. How did the developer come up with this banger? Sound of the summer. I can't get a comfortable position right now. My legs are, are scuffed. I've been sitting. The founder, Jerry Christ. Holy banger. Epic. <coughs> beached. Moused. Beached, beach, moused. Beached, moused. Beached, beached, moused. Open. Open. Open the door. Oh no. Oh no. Spooky Spectre. Fuck you. Bastard. I hate those guys. Prevents blindness, by the way. Okay, nice. Nice. Nice, dude. Die. Let die. By the way, for those who wonder, it's the XP for the- Don't! Don't do- okay. The XP for the weapon is like on the- Under my health bar? Like the little blue bar there? That's my XP for weapon. So when that's full, it's, a, it's like half full now. When that's full, I get upgrades for this weapon. Uh, and I'm assuming that's important, since it's like literally the death- Death side. And also, there's no, there's no, like, so there's no, there's no, like, specters here, which means that the two vampires that laid here are not actually dead. Ophelia and the other maggot is, like, still here somewhere. Or around. They're around. They're not here, but, like, they're somewhere. Somewhere! There's dogs. 
This is like we're just like bats. And the ghosts. Fuck off. Yeah, almost halfway. We just have to kill things with the scythe. The door opens again. Yep. Where to now? Who's the arena? A lot of things to kill there. To death side. Oh, dead people. Well, it's an arena, so of course it's gonna be a lot of dead here. Holy. It's a specter farm of all time. This guy's gonna go down pretty quickly, though. Yep. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Over halfway now, it seems like, kind of. This is taking a little longer than I would wish it to. But oh well. At least it didn't blind me. Good. What's that? It's sealed now. Well, we're definitely approaching a lot of different ending now. Oh, can we kill the dreamer? Not wake him up, but just kill the fucker. Do I get anything spear for doing this? It's, I guess so little. It's sometimes I, I start to question whether I get anything at all. But uh, we seem to be going forward slowly. Slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. Now we are yeah, like yeah, just over halfway. That took a took a while. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Mushrooms? Mushroom Nation? What? The 
to execute mushrooms. Yeah, that's why I got Reaper Scythe. Maybe not. This place is a place of turmoil. I came seeking the great cursed knight, but I simply may not have what it takes, or simply have too much huma humanity in me. To think these abominations were all once knights. So true. Let's go somewhere else to kill. I wonder what this upgrade is into. What the hell do you get from it? Let's go to the forest. Kill these fuckers. Yo, Cube, I come for you. And the moths. Die. Die. Goodbye. There he is. <laughs> Yakub. Hey, it just dies. Deep rabbit. My guy is pretty terrifying though. Like we run really fast. And have a death sight and just delete shit. Really I become death. Destroy our worlds. Thank you. Good. You're too slow, man. There we go. There we go. That was just, that's really unsettling. Oh shit, a guy. Yep. Oh, like 80% now. That's, that's pretty quick. Compared to earlier. What? She left too? They're all gone. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Actually, yeah, that was her shop. Solve the mystery. Where the fuck did I come from? I 
Oh well. Oh, you have to break it every time. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> you have to break it every time. Oh my god. Eh, lol. I guess you just don't get much music anymore, huh? No music. Uh, let's go to... Uh, over here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. So all the music is gone, I guess. That's very nice. Did I kill him? I guess so. I don't really want to fall down there. So. Oh shit. He's hard to hit! There we go. Dog. What's up in here? Let's death side these guys. We're almost leveled, that's nice. <coughs> Ow. Slap. How can she slap? It is ready. It is ready. Wait, what? what? Death created? Removed an aspect from the universe. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Ochoa. I hope you're being safe in the travels. The Wicking Rats? Yes. Wait, so, so death is here now or is it not here? It said death created. I still got 20. Okay, well, I, th I thought it would turn into something, not just create death. What now? 
<laughs> so we, we, we killed death. And then death was back again. We got spite coins for it. So that means that we did disrupt the soul, flow of souls to afterlife. Uh, next would be, for example, desecrating a shrine to an other being. Is this a shrine to Nellerby? Tell you about some shit. I wanna, yeah, I wanna like, uh, desecrate this shit, somehow. Book burning, for example. Desecrate it with a blood, for example. Hmm. 
What about the daughter shrine then? God damn it. Is this really a shrine? We call it a shrine. It's just a corpse or some big thing, but I mean, I used it to praise the fucker, but like, yeah. I mean. The holy seat of gold. The foul source of the pale corruption. Along with Abdul's wicked experiments. I play the game, do not venture within. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. That looks like something like that, like a shrine to it. Like. But it's not really a shrine, though, is it? What's a sh what's a shrine look like? It's, it's just it's some, some corpse and a, and a bit like a plaque, but that's it. But really, I wouldn't record it a, sh a shrine, an elder being. But that, that does look like an elder being, though. This is like, I, I, I like, kill death, things changed, I killed a bunch of people with the scythe, and then everything went back to normal. So, what did I achieve with that? Fucking nothing? Maybe it's something I, there's something I'm supposed to do while death is gone? Because now this, this blockage is over the way, and everything's back to normal, so like, nothing has changed. Uh, so that's weird. What about now, your dog? You still a dog? Of course. My God. Uh. I don't even know what an elder being is. <sighs> Grant healing blood magic to one afflicted with which takes more than it heals. Several follow by rush into different places of existence. This is with a shrine. Replace a prisoner and an angel. 
That could have been what happened here. Like, someone replaced this uh, maggot. This angel over here with the prisoner. Right? Like... Like right here. Sure looks like an agent, like he got replaced with a prisoner, right? This is one of the cruelties, probably Abdul did or whatever, or I don't know, someone... Someone did this shit. And then... Elder being? Uh. Oh, so did this thing? The moon? I don't know how it would desecrate it, but... Where did the be? Okay. What about... What about the one down here? There's one shrine with a big, like, uh, like, clam thing, like, the hermit shell. Is the hermit shell like an elder being? Could be. They desecrated it. <laughs> Fuck you. How many coins? They have 30. We got 10. Epic. Okay. Nice. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go through the door now. Goodbye. Wait, how did I go? Shit. Let's see. So we got 30 sp tokens of spite. Uh, what's up? I gotta read the rest of the books now. See what's up. Noise. Even before nothing happens. <sighs> Get in my game, man. Let me in. I'm reading this again now. Uh, cruelty. An action, but beyond its stems. Disciples wither at the truth of escape. They sought similarity. They blindly held my cloak as I led them through down, down the dark passages of life and death. Life of death. But now I have created a carved vessel. I have lain incantation. Sacred rite and bloody sacrifice. The door is finally ajar, so slight enough that I may escape. To those that remain in the end, you cannot move along with me, it seems. Uh, but I will write as best I can the result rituals that grant me this passage. If you should be so dedicated to pupil, seek them out and follow me. For passage, 30 tokens of sweat must be held by the traveler. These are given by the unnamed primordial god of cruelty whenever a deed is done which delights them. In my lifetime, I have come upon several, which I list. But I hold, I have 30. Open. What now? Gates of Tartarus.
We're in space? What's happening? Yeah? Bitrate. Bitrate loves this. Wake up. You made it to another realm, one full of life and joy, but slowly you realize that you cannot move, you cannot do anything other than observe, and along with you came a plague, and a natural demon relishing in his newfound territory, howls in the light, you doomed an entire new world to terror and cruelty. <laughs> nice! You doomed an entire new world to terror and cruelty. Sheet. Oh, it's the, it's the, it's the, like, god of cruelty or whatever. Okay. What happens now? Terminus Prison. Well, that was probably not a good ending. <laughs> probably not uh, the best. We still have those coins? Yep. Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, let's... Oh, man. <sighs> nice. Well, beyond this, I'm fucking clueless. I'm opening chat now. Spoiler time? I don't know. I don't know. Is there is there any like is there ever any like hints for what I could do next? No. I know I need all the spells, get spells, but it's not like at, th at this point I've gone through the game in and out, up and down the entire like so much so there's no there's like nah. <clears throat> there's no point. I'm not going to go around looking for spells. This is not Go look at water, that's it. <laughs> no, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this. There are only two places you didn't go. Well... Uh. I, by the way, also one question: Does the, the did the VHS thing ever ever go anywhere? Is that just a troll? It was a troll. Oh my god! It's needed for ending. Part of ending four. Oh, okay, you need it. No troll. Guessing ending ending four, then it's probably like a do literally everything in the game correctly on a fresh playthrough run. That would be my guess, and I, I don't know how like I don't know how much I want to do that blind because that sounds terrible. Go to castle and literally jump in the void. 
I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You can get both endings that are left on the save. I just finished uh, the one ending that I cared about. There's an entire location you didn't even see in. Damn. Wait, so there's like random drops from some from enemies, like like RNG drops for spells. That's the thing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what is this amount for? I have no idea. Your tornado spell is on. Really? Tornado is a drop. I feel so lucky. This spell is like such an insanely powerful thing. You got a snail spell in the most dumb way instantly. <laughs> okay. Little man sees a troll. Okay. Special endings on YouTube. Yeah, I feel like I feel like going for my endings now is pointless. I did I did the ending that had like a, a, a like a a, a a a reasonable puzzle to it, and I'm fine with that. That's cool. The other ones just seem like just literally get everything in the game that's hidden behind like a random wall or like like a random pit that's full of water, or like do some arbitrary shit. Did I find Moonlight? Yeah, I got Moonlight. Is your VHS tray tape still inventory? Nope. It's not. Uh, I used it in the, uh, in the castle because it was a VHS thing there. I wanted to not use it, because using it there granted me literally nothing. So, ending 4, I'm guessing, is not available then. <coughs> You'll miss it on the Guitar Hero bit. Well, now you spoil this, I don't even feel like doing it anymore. <laughs> cool. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> nah, I have literally no reason to do it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I don't care. The one, the one cool thing, the one cool like puzzle I did. The rest are just nonsensical, as far as I can tell. So, that's that's that. Oh, full game. Fun game. It was it was really good. It was really good. I gotta set my the the date of my PC back to. <laughs> Uh, to today. Hold up. Just date and time automatically. Thank you. Now it's the ninth, not the fucking twenty seventh. Did, did the did the moon cycle change anything? By the way. What does it change? Spawn the broken sword. Really? <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I'm glad I just did that out of just... Chance. I'm glad I just, like, randomly checked that. That was kind of ass, but sure. Hello, see you finished Lunacid. Will you f check risk of any returns? Yeah, I'll do that. I don't think I'll do it today, necessarily, uh, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I, I think I'm only missing one achievement. I'm missing. F I'm actually missing five achievements for the game, damn.
Well, someone said you just have to look at the water for a certain ending. What, what water do I have to look at? You just look at the water? <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just go look at the fucking water, though. Oh. I really like the, 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 the puzzle, though, with uh, Abdul. That was cool. That was a cool one. Like, reading those books and all that shit and actually having hints and stuff to work with? Awesome. The fact that you need to pick up a, a random sword piece here, not great, but for me it didn't matter because I read the manual and I was like, Oh, full moon changes things. Okay, let's let's put it the full moon. And it just was there, you know. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> the life piece was kind of weird though. Yeah, I, I had the I had the right assumption from the start, but even knowing that like or like no, knowing that the life piece, fractured life, was in the earth area, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the 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 location of it was kind of uh, yeah, a bit much maybe. I'm looking at the water. Wrong water? What? It's the wrong puddle? <laughs> ah, of course. It's the wrong fucking... Of course, yeah. Other water. Which one, then? Here? West side, okay, west side. Is this the west side? This is the west side. It's literally to the west. That's east? No, it's pointing north here. This is west. Left of north is west. Are you stupid? East is right. North, west, east. You read the compass wrong? No, I don't! The, the, the fucking pointer goes north! Yeah, the pointer goes north! Left of north is west! And right of north is east! You guys are mega retarded. It's literally pointing up north. It oh, Where does the compass pass? Oh, actually, it points in my rectum, which is south, because I'm a maggot. No, it points north, because you're a dog. Here's the puddle. It's the wrong puddle again? More east? Fuck you. Is that like all the way in here? I'm going south right now. Here's the puddle. Is this the puddle? But I'm looking at it.
What? Stand it looks right down. Okay, we're looking straight down. Space. Space not oh like like space bar? Don't touch anything. Okay, I should not touch the water then. Let's see if I can stay in the air. Nice, nice, nice troll, nice troll, morons. This is, this is water too. <laughs> it's an actual ending. How is it an actual ending? You just stand and look at water. This is the most stupid thing I've heard in my life. Am I moving? I shouldn't be moving. I gotta stand still. Like I'm sliding down. Nothing is happening. I'm sliding again. Can I slide into the water?
för Void Watchers. Void Watchers ending. What? I'm waiting for the ending, guys. I'm waiting for the look at the water ending. Where's the where's the ending? Where's the ending? It's zooming in. It's doing just zoom. Where's the ending? Where's the ending? I don't see it. We're sliding. <laughs> it's not zooming at all. We're actually just sliding. Because it's a slope. It's not zooming, you dogs. Nice ending. Nice ending, guys. Nice. Epic. Okay, let's reload the room. Let's reload the room. And go to the... To the... To the, <laughs> to the eastern... <laughs> let's go to the western water, guys. Let's go to the western water. It looks just like the eastern water. Go look at it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Luna said water and. <laughs> Is there not a water ending? CD ending. Force and CD ending. CD is not sending. Hello. Let's see.
Okay, you just stand still in the water. You just look. You don't have to look, look anywhere. You just look up. The legendary water engine is so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so dumb, dude. What the fuck? Kill themselves having to clarify that the only requirement is looking at the water. Looking at the water. Yeah, I'm looking at the fucking water. Where's the ending? This ending is achieved by walking down the hallway to the left of the great one, staring at the... Yeah, I looked at that. I have to piss. Can I just... Do I dare stand here and go for a piss? The narrow part of the pond? What if we need light, guys? What if we need light? I need to take out my twisted stuff. Where's the narrow part of the pond, guys? Here? Here's the trigger? Okay, we stand here then. Riveting ending. I'm unmuting alerts now. You can hear them now. I hate water. This is the worst ending. Beach mouse. Beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse, 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 beach, mouse, beach, beach, mouse,
Schwert hab. What? Scattop loves me, guys. God bless Scattop. Thanks. It's not the end. The ending is number four. Ending four. Oh, the Walter. Walter ending. Time wasted. Uh, okay. Well. Ending 4 I have to look up probably, but I know I need the VHS tape, which means I have to play the game again, and I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's look up what ending 4. Let's look it up. Oh, the guy is already like doing the ending. But how do you how do you get there though? Achievements. I'm gonna go through these in alphabetical order. I think that will be the easiest. Sure, for Some video. of them are secret, but all of them are required to unlock one of the hidden endings, as well as two Steam achievements. I'm gonna go through these in alphabetical order, I think that will be the easiest way to find specific spells in this video, and since there are so many of them, let's get to it. Obviously, this video will contain spoilers. The Summon Snail spell is a random drop from snails. And the Tornado spell is a random drop from these giant flying or. Now, for the Summon Kodama spell, you're going to have to embrace your inner demon and murder these harmless, helpless spirit bunnies. Because they randomly drop. But hey, now you can have- I, I, I avoided killing them because of that. I got Rock Bridge, Quick Stride, Poison Mist, I Sword, Summon Fairy, Spirit Warp, Moonbeam, I don't have that. And now we're outside of Castle Lefanu to finally get that third black book down here in the hidden holy battleground, where, of course, a battle awaits you with the hidden boss, Sanguis Umbra. Be careful, this boss fight can be quite tricky early on, especially, but after it eventually crumbles under your might, I used Ice Tear, it'll drop that final black book. Uh huh. Lightning, Light Reveal, Lava Chasm, Ignis Calor, Ice Tear, Ice Spear, Icarian Flight, Holy Warmth, Ghost Light, Flame Spear, Flame Flare, Fire Worm, Earth, Earth Thorn? That's the one I don't have either. Heated inside the spacious and easily maneuverable, but still extremely secret, sealed ballroom area inside the castle. Followed by Earth Thorn. And then, inside the castle, head upstairs to the left. 
after you pass through the haunted and hauntingly beautiful dining room, you take another left, and now you can access the door leading into the sealed ballroom. What? We maneuver followed by Earth Thorn, which is inside this chest, located inside the spacious and easily maneuverable, but still extremely secret sealed ballroom area inside the castle. How do I access the sealed ballroom? To access the sealed ballroom, you have to go to the left side of the castle exterior and then attack this round window with poison damage. Okay! Yeah, that's great! Nice! If only I thought of that! And then, inside the castle, head up... Dark skill, corpse transformation, coffin, flip, flip mark, blood strike, piece of communication, barrier, and okay, so I just need that! And uh, kill the boss, and then farm enemies. Is there not poison, but dark time? <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's just get that then. Let's get the spells at least. Sure. Why not? I don't think I, I don't think I can do the ending though because it's not at VHS, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's put on the. Uh... Oh, we don't have the scythe anymore. Shit. What was the good sword that I had? Not Jotun Slayer. Uh, what's a good weapon? I used to spells, fuck it. Whatever. Where am I? What year is it? You don't need it. I need the spells, yeah. You just have to watch the VHS, white VHS. Oh, okay, okay. Well, then I watched it then, so who cares? Sure. Uh, I guess I go here. Here's like two of the secrets. Yeah, I watched the VHS. I already have watched it. Dogs. It's watched. Hold on, does this work? Oh, you do get a message if you try to attack it though, so there's that. So like, if you hit it... But like, how are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know that that's a hittable thing? What the fuck? Dog? Was it poison damage? Slime orb? Wow, a door opens. Okay, that's such a, that's the most random shit ever, dude. Holy. Alright, let's go down then. Hello. Where are you, bitch? Oh, it doesn't take fire damage. I mean, wind damage. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that kind of works. Bye. All right. Warp to this place and get that shit. So I gotta farm, I gotta farm enemies for like summon spells. Epic. That's, that's really epic, by the way. Love it. Yeah, so neither was just a carry though, holy shit. Wow. Oh, it's a whole area? Holy. The fuck? Sealed ballroom. Who's this? Our farmed horse. Oh, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, this is here, it's like one of the. Um, well, it's a cruelty. That's a cruelty. I think. They look like cruelties. 
There's more of this blue shit. There's more of these guys. Holy. Or rather, Black Flail. Expedrained, fucking dogs. Sippy. Don't worry about the bleeding boys. I came from over there, so I'll probably go this for them. There we go. Earth Earth Thorn. Like we're done here then. As far as I can tell. You know, we should probably go with a black book. <clears throat> Bleeding doesn't kill, no. Bleeding it just uh, makes you bleed. And while we give him the... Uh, the book, we go uh, slay. Do these guys drop that uh, spell, I wonder? Aye, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's only the starter area slimes? Only the <laughs> Okay. That's... That's evil. Okay, I'm gonna... BRB. I'm gonna piss. One sec.
Hello chat, my hand is purple. What the fuck, dude? Guys, who wants to watch more footage of Boogie banging prostitutes on YouTube? That was epic. We're now undergoing an evil developer moment. <laughs> then we also counter it with an evil player moment. Enable speed hack. <laughs> this is gonna be twice as fast! God damn! <laughs> Snails! Come to me! Hello! <laughs> Holy. Snail! Die, snail. Money! Die. Ocean Bones Heart. Hmm. And now we have to reload the area, or what? No way. I have her? What? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Tornado was my luckiest drop ever. I killed like I killed one mountain ray and I got tornado. It was epic. Die, rabbit! Die, rabbit. If it doesn't drop it, we gotta go again. Oh. I want to get short book. Yeah, he has short book, don't worry about it. Bro, this thing's... Oh! Ugh. Boom! What is the rapper in this thing? Oh, hold on.
Oh, right. Check. I think that's all. Moonbeam. And now we're outside of Castle Lefanu to finally get that third black book down here. Oh, the book, of course. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go talk to the guy. Big black book. You done? Sorry, it's done. Okay. You want to read a bit faster? Waiting. In real life? Oh, okay. I don't use an app, JC. And my camera's flickering for something. I don't know what it is, though. I think it's my monitor. Still figures. Oh, the frame rate uncap. Oh, come! They were not capping that again. Holy shit, it felt so nice to play with that frame recap. Oh, I know what the flickering is. If it is if I have a if I have a white window on my second monitor, now it should flicker, right? Yeah. It's the hatch on my second monitor. My, my second monitor is very, like, shit. What? Did I have two books for him? What? You need to restart? Do I gotta quit the game? Okay. <gasps> but I haven't- have I saved? Uh... Oh, what spells do I have now? I lost- I lost snail and- oh my god, do we have- Fuck, do we have a black book? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. God damn it. Kill me, dude. It's over. It's so fucking over. We gotta just kill a million snails and Kudomas. Amazing. Didn't drop, I guess I gotta reload the area. But I guess I already did solve the puzzle sort of for ending 4 then. The only thing I was missing was uh, just like getting all the spells. And some of them were random drops, and sure, I didn't jump into the, into the pit, but yeah, like I guess I kind of almost did perfect the game except for... Uh, yeah, like getting all spells.
Oh, I thought it was a ring. Fuck. Alright. Is it obnoxious secrets? No, it's not obnoxious secrets. It's obnoxious, like, uh, the rings randomly drop from snails. Like, I never would have guessed that. I like, guess. That's something you basically need a tutorial for, or uh, unless you want to just like randomly kill every mulber in the game like uh, like 50, 50 times, like that's just really, right? A random chance? I, uh, I don't really like in integrating that into puzzles, but uh, it's just me. Because I could have just gone back in 4th theater, like I killed him a bunch of times, but he would have never given me the ring because I just didn't do it enough. Or because I'm unlucky. Like, if you're lucky, you get all of those drops immediately the first time you kill those enemies, and then if you don't, then... Yeah. Who's ever gonna use a summon fucking snail, though? Like, who the fuck is gonna do that? <laughs> and the poison damage on the window, yeah, that was like, kind of, uh... No, if, 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 if the window stood out a bit more, if it didn't just look like a, any other window, I would get it. But the window... Didn't stand out. Now... The fact that it's specifically poison damage, that's not the end of the world. Because if you shoot at it, it says no effect, as if something else will have an effect. So at that point, you should just realize that you should shoot it by something else, right? Uh, that's fine. I, I don't mind that. The, the, the specific damage type doesn't bother me. The, what bothers me is that the, the window just doesn't look like anything you're supposed to shoot ever. Like, it just doesn't. It doesn't make sense that you shoot a window to open a door. Either way. Like, it's just... It was the same icon on the window. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense that you should shoot a window to open a door. Do you understand that? It doesn't make any fucking sense. That's really dumb. It's not something- it's not a conclusion you would ever come to. It's just, that just doesn't make any sense. At, at least to me. Like, I don't think I would ever come to that conclusion myself, that I was supposed to shoot that to open the thing. Or what, what, if there was a reason to ever shoot it at all, it just didn't stand out. I'm not advocating for, like, a purple painted ladder or anything, but like... Or like a yellow yellow ladder, like... <laughs> but... Uh, it could stand a little bit more than that, probably. There we go. Okay, I'm at a mega save now. Holy shit. Also, journal somewhere that mentions the vampire guy sealing a ballroom. Well, you already know that it's sealed. If it if it mentions how he seals it, if there was a book mentioning that that you were supposed to do that, I would be all for it, no problem. But I'm pretty sure it didn't do that. I'm pretty sure it would be something akin to like I sealed the ballroom. Not any, any specifics or anything like that. It's just I I sealed it actually. It's locked though. I'm not saying that the secrets are bad, I'm saying that there were like two two things that were kind of stupid. Oh, there were a couple of things that were kind of stupid, but one didn't matter for me because I had a, the game set to like full moon. Okay, you take full damage from ladders, that's amazing. I mean, it makes sense, but it's a video game for me. There we go, okay, we got it pretty quick this time, that's nice. We talked about a locked clock, clock tower, but not a ballroom, yeah. And it doesn't say anything about how it was locked or anything like that, it was just, it's locked. This is probably not done yet, is it? It's bugged again, guys. It's bugged again.
I'm gonna try doing this until it doesn't say that I have like, yeah. Okay. Okay. How uh, this bug and what works for me was being me, but see, AFK next time and not reloading areas for 10 minutes. Yeah, I guess I just gotta be here. I gotta sit here and wait for him to do it. Instead of going somewhere else. So we just gotta sit here and chat, boys. It's like talk. This game was really good so far. And I didn't know there's very little left to it. I've, I've gotten the VHS and shit. Um, did you start to say before 1.0? Yeah. No, after, after. I, I got the game when it was done, as I usually do. Yeah, that's because 20 minutes, not 10. Holy shit. <laughs> There's no way. That's just a stupid thing to add to a game. You gotta like wait for it to be finished. Like, <laughs> why? Why would you do that? Do you advance my clock? No, I could. Can you just adjust the clock? Oh, okay. So, we have to wait, and he might just bug out again. Great. We can watch the rest of the boogie stuff if you want. Or boogie documentary. That was epic. The epic tail of boogie. So that he just completes me. Growing up without a father figure. I that was the. <laughs> that was. That's where we quick. Growing up without a father figure. <laughs> challenges, like you just don't have that 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 support system that you would and the advice that you need, and so it's just difficult. Oh, I don't right. want to be alone. That's another thing. I'm just, I just, maybe that's why I have stuffed animals. I just, I don't ever want to be alone. And so it's just nice to have company. And I help with the dogs. I get him, I get him his water. I, you know, like whatever he wants and requests, you know, I, I just mainly is to take care of him. He takes care of me. So yeah, sometimes I, I pick weeds out here, so. Cause like, it makes it look better. I'm trying to trim down these vines. Didn't lose weight for the but fight? Uh, I th maybe. I, I, do I didn't see the fight. I don't. I don't. I never. I've never. I don't think yeah, I've in my entire life watched a single right. watch match of like YouTuber that boxing. If you are a forty-year-old man and you have a Snapchat, that means you're a creepy dude. Turns out my theory was right. I have a Snapchat and I am a creepy dude. Americans. Americans. I found that person and they happen to be 20. And I get that it's creepy to date somebody half your age or younger, but 
half your age and younger. Call me creepy if they want. If she's happy and I'm happy, then I will be the biggest creep you need me to be. As long as her and I are happy, you can be as mad as you want. Sexually, we both seem to be having an excellent time. I would say didn't need to say that. What? what? Yeah, he didn't have to say that. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Next. for 17 years. Yeah, four million subscribers. Okay, and this is your my, my girlfriend. your girlfriend who is much younger than you is suspiciously <laughs> she's, she's an adult. She's 20. She that you know it's never good when you say well she's an adult. <laughs> is, he, is this a sex trafficking situation? <laughs> <laughs> what are you watching? Watching Boogie. We're watching Boogie. The yeah. That guy. People like. We're gonna do that though, it's to be expected. You're right, we're different. But. Fuck them, right? Yeah, fuck them. Fuck them. He's not manipulating. He's like a, it's like a perfect circle. It's like he's as he's as wide as he's tall. It's it's crazy how his torso is like a, a like a literal a circle, a math mathematically correct circle. He's not manipulating me. I love him for him. He doesn't control me. <laughs> it's a fucking sphere. Uh, can we get the book? Uh, no. He supports me in everything I do and everything I want. He's he's my support. Number ten. <laughs> Let me get a McCrispy Deluxe. Combo, make it large. What do I think about his dying Ugh. financial situation? I think it's scary. Yeah, what's so scary about that? Um, that he might lose it all in a day. He might just be homeless one day. But so if I'm broke, if I go broke, okay, if we end up back on disability, and. It's me, you, and Chad living in some small apartment, and we're eating McDonald's every day, and that's treating ourselves. You gonna be able to handle that? Yeah, you I guess it's that? me, you, Chad, eating McDonald's every day in our small, cute apartment. Because I mean, I'm hopeful that people will Damn. go back to watching us on YouTube. I hope that people will be. I'm hopeful that people will like. You know, I can go back to live streaming full time. Is a boogie? Yeah, this is boogie. This boogie with a, his new twenty-year-old girlfriend after spending two hundred thousand dollars on sex on like uh, uh, hookers. Uh, <laughs> talking about after spending two hundred thousand dollars on hookers, he is talking about. Uh, listen, my twenty-year-old wife. Uh, we may go broke and live in a small apartment and, and eat McDonald's every day. Are you okay with that? And she's like, Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Marry me. streamer and like grind it out but i mean there is a very real possibility that one day i won't be able to do that anymore and we're gonna have to live off of whatever we can are you prepared for that as long as i have you that's all i need have you ever thought about the fact that she's just waiting you out and trying to think broke you're broke i'm broke yeah he does go broke and has to sell the house i'm still gonna be by his side He's the only one that I love and I care about, and there's only one of them. And so I'm not just gonna up and leave him for money, because money's an issue. I know. If I die. Yeah, because he's really... 50 year old and mega fat. He's like a. It... Oh! 
Oh, my, that's it. That's it. He's 50 year old and mega fat and he has a house. Dude, it's free money for her. It's actually free money. If she gets married, takes half of it and he dies through like heart attack, which he probably will in like two days, then she gets the money. Of course. She's going for the free money life hack, yeah. He's broke, yeah, but he has a house. He owns property. Like, that's a lot of money. Even if you don't make today today now, the selling a house is a lot of money. Heart attack speed run. A house with one sixty-five thousand dollar mortgage, mortgage going like still. Yeah, but that there's still some some of that mortgage mortgage has been paid down. If you sell the house, you're not gonna earn nothing. You're going to make money, and that's you know a couple of thousand at least. McDonald's is her idea. Yeah, yeah. All she has to do, all she has to do. Listen, you want free money life hack? Be a 20 year old petite milady little girl and then find a, a fat fucking mega monster YouTuber who's 50 years old and has like 5 million diseases and then he will like hit the casket in like 2 days if you just feed him enough bur burgers and McDonald's and fucking slop. And then you get free money when he dies. And you get YouTuber documentary. Epic life hacks. Subscribe for more. I want you to understand how actually sick I am. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she's like, oh, 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 you're sick. Oh, man. Um, I can't believe you're gonna die. Actually get it. That's so... <laughs> this is my health summary. This is everything that's currently wrong with me. And she's just sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> my risk for the <laughs> on the inside. ...is astronomical. I am essentially... A walking time bomb. And I'm so fucking sorry for that. I really, really wish I had taken better care of my body. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll never be ready for it, but I know. Never ready. Never ready. I don't want you to be alone. I don't want you to be alone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've talked to my therapist since me and her have been together about overcoming it. My therapist keeps telling me the same thing. When you learn to love yourself. Oh, what about the book? Yeah, what, what, what about the book? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Book. Still, this guy is my god. All these things will fall into place, and we just got to teach you those skills. And then I turn to my doctor, and I'm like, what do we do? He's like, you've had bypass surgery. You, you lost 200 pounds. What more can I do for you? I'm like, fix it, dude. Help fix it. And then they're telling me that I'm the one that has to fix it. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> fix it. Fix me. Fix me. <laughs> fix me. <laughs> fix me. <laughs> and then he rolls up in a, in a fucking like motorized wheelchair. <laughs> fix me. Fix me. <laughs> oh. Oh no! <laughs> fix me, please, please, you can fix me, doctor. I, I swear! I'm broke, but you can so fix me. What the hell I'm doing? And I'm making less and less every month, and I'm scared shitless. <laughs> And now, making his way to the ring, Boogie Tonight! Hey, so Mike, I just got off the phone with Keemstar, and he has a boxing event coming up, and he's giving me a slot on the card. You got it? This is 800 pounds in one ring. This fight is... <laughs> oh, he's going against wings, right. No chance against me. Shut the fuck up. People are going to see me win this thing. This oh is my where God. I turn it all around. Right here.
<laughs> Wings one. It's over. Watch the way he hits my head. My brain got shot from each one of those. <laughs> Ricocheting against my skull. Holy the fucking the impact in the head goes like it vibrates from the from the uh, the triple chin all the way down to the hundred and twelfth flab on the chest, all the way down blub 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 and it hits the floor. <laughs> It's like a tsunami hitting the fucking ground. So since you guys were here last, I did have a bit of a windfall, which bought me some time here in this house. Uh, the problem with that is I spent more than 10,000 getting that fight together. So by the time all that was done... <laughs> what? <laughs> Boxing shorts for 350. Oh, he wasn't, he wasn't flown in? He wasn't flown in. He didn't get back boxing lessons. He played 2000 for physical therapy. He had to get two MRIs. Damn. More than 10,000 getting that fight together. So by the time all that was done, all I did was put that $10,000 back into savings. Being in the new relationship is great. But... I mean, she can't help pay a $2,200 mortgage. Okay, let's go through my monthly bills for a second. My health insurance is $800. I have $500 worth of medical bills. I have $500 worth of utilities. I, I pay for doctor's visits, physical therapies, labs How constantly. Do you... Oh, yeah, I guess health insurance gets... Dude, in the... it's 8000 for health insurance. That's insane. Medical bills. 500 Doctor visits 750 doctor visits for for one month Damn I go to doctor I pay $20 It's crazy America is the country with the most expensive like healthcare ever but they're also the most fat and more disposed for getting like sick I go for a doctor, I pay for the bus, that's it. I have, in Norway, in Norway, you don't, you have to pay a little bit because otherwise people are just gonna like, they want to set like a certain threshold for going to the doctor so you don't like stub your toe and go to the fucking doctor like an idiot. You can just like, you bandage it yourself and t they, you know, call it a day. Uh, they want to like lower the people coming there. So you have to pay a little bit yourself, but it's not much. It's just something so that they don't like fucking waste time, basically. I'm still, what is, dude, this guy's a, a dog, hello? I still have to pay. Is it worth it to move to Norway? I did. I don't know. It depends on what you want. Game is supposed to be that video focus. What? Okay. Okay, dude. Okay. Seriously? No, if I go to another place, it's gonna fucking bug out. I tried speed hacking the game, I tried going to another, like, uh, area. Is there the book? No, I don't have a book. Zero. Zero book. <clears throat> we just have to wait. We have to wait. But damn, that's uh... That's wild. You can just pop a window for, for video, I guess. I guess. How do you do that?
How do you pop out? What? Oh. That works? Hey, for the car. That I've never done that. I still have to pay for car insurance. I still have to pay for health insurance. Diablo 4 came out. I had to buy it. Uh, Final Diablo Fantasy 4 16 came out. I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Tears of the Kingdom came out. I had to buy it. Wow. That's $400 worth of video games right there. But if you take out all of it, you take it out. All I eat is sandwiches every day. All I do is sit here. I don't pay for any Netflix subscriptions. All I pay for is internet, utilities, medical bills, mortgage. If I pay for just that, I need $7,000 a month. I'm not making $7,000 a month, and I have no clue how to do it. So there's something I've always wanted to try. There's a lot of research that came out of Europe, and now we're doing it here in the United States, where psychedelics can help. Can you like pause this video and play it? People who experience childhood. Like a few more relaxing videos on stream or try to some secrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Abuse. People who've gone through trauma. People who deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. And I'm all of those. <laughs> To be honest, I'm scared shitless. It's one of the only things I haven't tried yet. What is what is it again? So let's give it a shot. Your range size psychedelic psychedelic ceremony. Oh <laughs> it's crazy. Oh dude. I, I swear to god, dude. Arthur. I swear to god. You're in a sh you're in a terrible place. Everything has gone to shit. Yeah, let's do psychedelics, you fucking idiot. I swear to god, dude. Flaming star. There's one thing that's undeniable, is that there's always this question about why. Why am I here? Existence. What's really happening? Who am I? That's what happens when you seek out hallucinogenics. It's going to allow everything else physically here to relax. The emotional stuff is going to come out. Trauma is going to come out. But afterwards, your atoms are going to go back into their original positions. You're gonna go back into the original processions. You know how they get like this like nasal voice when they've have done like uh they like someone has done like f ten years of meth and they start talking like this? They they get like this f fucking maggot voice and you can hear that even if they came through a Discord voice call that they are a complete fucking uh crackhead. That's why. They'll be mind, body, and spirit all one together. Yeah, exactly. We're fungal shifted. Connected. I believe when it. You get to a certain point of Bro, fungal shifted is fucking brain matter. Inside your intellect mind, that connectivity, you realize your hands are basically like, like, like USB good, ports. Good lord. So these are the. I. <laughs> Listen, you have to understand. I have, I have like this, this special part of, of, of special like. I, I've had to deal with these people so, so often, like in real life, that people are like, they do they do like LSD or shrooms one time and think they're the next coming of fucking Christ because they're so smart now, like... It's crazy to think that something... And they will say dumb shit like so your intellectual power, mind. And I'm actually holding in my hand right now. But here we go. They don't taste bad. Honestly, that doesn't taste too bad. They're pretty good and dry. Every, everybody just says kind of earthy. He's like in shrooms. Oh, the whole thing, yeah, yeah. Okay. Welcome to the club. May God bless you and be with you on your journey. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so I think we've been about 20 minutes in. About 15, yeah. About 15. So we're about 15 minutes in, and I started to feel things are kind of wavy and kind of disconnected. It's kind of like my brain works on multiple channels, and like I have to pick and choose what I'm concentrating on. I have never been bald. I have no clue where the fuck I am or even who I am. And I don't give a fuck. I reckon I oh, He's about to experience the second part of the realization of letting go. And we're going to get to the other side of it. I told you they'd come. It's going to get nice and bright in about five more minutes. Yeah. And the reflection in the water is really cool too. So Have you ever done shrooms? Yeah. The first trauma that you experienced, yep. you had, one which time. It's basically set up like a defense mechanism for you. Man. Yeah, my parents are just crazy. They're broken people. Parents? Yeah. Stewards? People who are like trying to. to, to oh, okay. Okay. Yep, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? What? <clears throat> like they don't. I mean, that shit doesn't matter. Little Spoke really just gave him the matter. book, reload the area until you just get the prompts, saying yes or no, oh, say no, I reload again, so and they would hit the spit eventually. <laughs> like I've just been waiting. <coughs> I'll wait. He now is still reading. Just drop that shit. So, uh, when did you feel the need of this separate personality? Is that what was that like? What you used as a coping mechanism to socialize with? Oh, that's exactly what it is, right? Like I didn't know what the hell. I don't know how to communicate what I was dealing with or what I was going through, and I just. Right. We put on these different faces in order to deal with situations in society. You try to give people what the hell they want. And then you felt like that was the need to make up Francis or other personalities? Yeah. Are you ready to let all that go? Yeah, please, man. Oh Francis is the character that I put on YouTube. This is the first time I've ever felt happiness. I wait, 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 what? Happiness. I, <laughs> This is the first time I felt it. Don't have to tell him, man. It's all kind of bullshit. It's, all, it's all bullshit. What's the bullshit? What's the bullshit? Just all the things I've been worried about. <laughs> because you go, are the man. master of your own orchestra, man. It's a game, right? <laughs> Just let him so go, it's up man. to you to choose. Is that my phone? Steven, are you, no. can you get up? Hello? Jesus Christ. Good lord. I'm still not sure I'm like really here yet. I don't really want breakfast. That's just, that's a shame. Jesus. Whew. Please go reload. Okay. All right. Let's go. It's just all bullshit. Like none of this matters. None of it. It's all a construct. It's all a simulation. It's all a. It's a fucking video game. You know when you die? I think I died last night. <laughs> I physically, my body was fine, but I think I went back into. The void we come from, and I think uh, I think I'm still in it, except I'm also in this physical corporal body, but I'm also the incredible being that puppets it and controls it. And God damn it, I feel like I'm in control. I feel like I'm in control of myself for the first fucking time.
the stuff that I, I normally worry about, like worrying about my finances, worrying about my internet, worrying about what people think about me, it's all so incredibly stupid. It's all just bullshit. I think I'm gonna enjoy making YouTube videos again. I think I'm gonna enjoy live streaming again. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie 298. Now we're still doing it. When I make a video, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 people watch. That is still my dream job. Everybody falls off. That's part of the deal. Every single month. He had tons and tons. You start off as a nobody. And for a short period of time, you're a somebody. And then that star burns out like every star does. I was lucky enough to get hit by lightning. I was lucky enough to get to live my dream. I was lucky enough to get to enjoy all of that. Play this game the way I wanted to play it. I'll be gone one day too. But for one brief moment, we, we got an opportunity to shine really bright. Okay. I can't get my fucking book. I don't I was gonna give him a book because I don't have a book. I mean, I have done. This is uh, the wait time. I, I, it's so, it's annoying that the wait time is there in the first place. But the fact that it's bug two makes it so much worse. I should have had the ending done like an hour ago. The bug is that I gave him a book and he doesn't realize he's gotten the book. And it's just really annoying to have with a uh, quest where you're supposed to just wait. All you're supposed to do is just wait. That's it. You give him the thing and then you just wait. And we currently have given him the book. Because you have none, we don't have a book. You can cheat in the last spell, well, that's what I did, this is what I did. How? How do you cheat in the Moonbeam? Moon <laughs> Save editor. Kira made a save editor, really? I can make it. Where do you find it? Okay. I guess I guess it was that then. Good God, this got a little bit annoying towards the end, but uh, games are broken sometimes. It's just how it is.
How do you use it? How do you use the fucking thing? Like what's the what's your save file here, really? Yeah, what's, load your save and other What's my fucking save, though? Fucking steam. Oh. Okay. Just put those moonlight. That's it. Longer to read it because this book is a lot more complex. So you can just do what I did and have fun with Icarian Flight, or you can actually go and, you know, a comp ring, which is incredibly powerful, especially against vampires and other things weak to light damage. And then he tells you that he's going to be traveling and he might see you later on. DLC free. Moon beam. Moon space beam. Okay, that's it. That's the name of it. Okay. Update. Do we get the spell now? Okay. Hey. Okay, we got Moonbeam. Uh, that's all the spells, right? Is there anything left to do now? Or do we just finish the game? Go for finish. Okay, let's go for the finish. Let's finish the game now. So the only thing I hadn't done in this save file was just get the spells. Uh, which was one secret area. Like without- with backseating. Yeah. Without backseating, I was missing a little bit of stuff. Not too much though. Not too much. Ponder the pong. Go look at the water. Let's do the water ending. I'm down. We 
What do you recommend this game? Yeah, the game itself is fun. And then uh, the secret, the secret stuff is pretty cool too. Although the, uh, like... The super secret ending here was like, this didn't really make sense. Like, you, you need to have all the spells for some reason, but it's never really told that you need that. Um, and the VHS, like, didn't really make sense either. The VHS was just like a part of, it was like a pretty cool puzzle, actually. Or like, kind of. Uh, it relies on clicking random walls, but uh, still, uh, you do, it, it, one, one part of that puzzle was nice, which was when it, you put in the VHS and it showed you where you get the next key, and then you have to remember where you use that key, and then you get the last VHS tape, and you put it in the, where you remember where, in the castle, you watch the video, but the video is like, it's like, well, you have to wake up the guy, and the god, and kill it, and it's like, well, sure, but that's pretty vague, I don't know, I don't know, but we're doing that. Fish. Fischer. Is this the same ending? Nope. What's happening? What? Oh, okay, it's, it's with the keys, it's our keys. Lol, okay, I, I get it. <laughs> Lol. Donk. Uh huh. Do we have to see the fish or what? Oh no, we don't. We fucked up the start.
I don't really get how I'm still here. If this thing is awake, then the world should go away, right? Oops. Rip FC. What the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ. It's difficult to keep track of where the fuck the things are because they all come from the same place. Guitar Hero Fish So when we get full mana, I'm guessing it's over Like now, for example Oh, but he wasn't actually woken up Or was he? What the fuck? All in the head? Alright. Can we do the first try? It was nerfed. Oh, okay. What? Water? Hello! Where we at? The world and Joshua. Became the dreamer. Joshua! <laughs> Dude, we're in Joshua, what the fuck? Epic. Where are we going, boys? Void, uh... Wait, what's your miss? Okay. I can't kill myself. But I want to see if there's anything here first. In Joshua. I just got here, man. Look at that! A thing! Imperfect Joshua. What?! A Joshua?!
Fight and blast. You can't talk to them. <laughs> what? I wasn't supposed to do that? That's the ending? Oh, okay. That's it? Okay, okay. Didn't even try to turn spell. Oh, I could have done that, yeah. Shit. Okay, that's that's to be all done. I have 24 out of 26. I'm missing achievements though. Unlocked all of Etna's alchemy recipes and obtained every weapon. Okay, I don't have that. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. Okay, now we're done with the game though. It's been, uh, what, eight? Almost nine hours of streaming, chat. To fix this. Holy. I'm, uh, I'm done. I'm done. It's been a, it's been a good, uh, good, uh, good, uh, good time. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Again, the the puzzle for uh, the puzzle for ending, I, th I what I assume is ending B or the go gates of Tartarus, opening the gates. Really like that one, getting the, the 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 tokens or like the spite tokens. Great, awesome, very good. Except for the moon thing, which was like a bit weird. Uh, it needs to be on a certain day, which is like kind of uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's a bit weird. It's a bit of a weird thing to do. And the place you find the life essence, life, life thing was a bit weird. A little bit. Out, out, out of nowhere. Final thoughts, Joshua. What are you gonna play now? Uh, Risk of Rain Returns is a thing. Uh, there's been a couple of games releasing recently that I wanted to play. T Talos Principle 2 is... I don't think I'll play Talos Principle 2. I think I'll play, I'll play, I'll play those off-stream, honestly. They're not good stream games for me. I play Risk of Rain Returns. Also, uh, also uh, thinking of playing uh, Fortnite. OG Fortnite. Funny. Lies of P, of course, yeah. Lies of P and Armored Core also in consideration. For sure. Good game, though. I liked it. Overall, good. Secrets. Secret, secret part? I don't like that the alphabet was used for literally nothing. Like, the alphabet in the game you learned on the tablet, I was really excited to see that be a thing, but then it just doesn't go anywhere. It's like, okay, you can know what the fucking Migo says, but it doesn't say anything important, so who cares? Um, it was never used for, like, any secrets. Uh, I see, like, I, I could see so much potential in the secrets in this game, but then it's just, like, kind of just... It's just a bunch of random shit and a bunch of walls you have to click arbitrarily. Like, it's just, uh... I'll, it could have gone so many places. It could have been, like, imagine if there was, like, a, uh... Like, some hints for the things you were supposed to do? Like... I don't know. The rat dialogue... I didn't get the rat dialogue, actually. Uh, but every other dialogue was just like flavor text instead of being like something actually like... You know, important or relative. Or re relevant. I really don't like that you have to lick all the walls to find the secret rooms. I think it could have been done a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I don't like... It. That's kind of like secrets I really don't like. I mean, sh yeah, that, that... I don't... I didn't like that. I really just didn't. I just didn't. I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, having to lick every wall, like, it's just not fun. I didn't think it's fun. Uh, it's it's fine. I I, I got I got kind of used to it, but, like, I... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of stupid. But, yeah, again, again, the leaked, I like the thing where you have to, the, to desecrate the shrine. Fish, the, the god. fish, fish, god. <laughs> Uh, like killing killing Jotun except for the fact that it just required a Jotun Slayer that you just buy at, at the end of the game. It was just like such a random thing. Um, that felt really random. That you just, that you just buy... Oh, oh, suddenly it just sells Jotun Slayers. Like, okay. Like, 
that's so that's weird, but okay, sure. And then um Yeah, desecrating shine was good. Killing death was cool. Except for yeah, the, the fact that uh Moonblade. I don't know. The, the secrets were like I, I I liked them. I I liked the setup for it. I really liked the setup where like uh, this guy and, and like the lore behind it. The guy like doing all of this stuff because he wanted to to enter that gate. Uh, since he wanted to leave the dream, um, like Abdul doing all of this like fucked up shit just to to get out. And the fact that it has like it, it doesn't it doesn't end there. Like you just get if you do that you just get fucked in the end. That's, I think that I think that was really cool. Um, I liked it a lot. But yes, some of the secrets were like really random and a bit like tedious and like you you kind of just don't it's a it's a far fetch to do them yourself, really. Was another thing for me was the VHS catacomb room. Yeah, yeah. That felt really like I don't know. I, I don't I don't know. That that was just like mega random. I get, and, and but it's not it's not that it's, it's like out of place there that the VHS was in that room. It's more that like such a, a such a like important part of uh of the the last ending is literally just like you have to click around the wall and click around the wall again and then it's a VHS player in there. Uh <laughs> it's like yeah that was that was odd for like a final ending. Like you just okay for to get the final ending you have to lick every wall in the game. Yeah like I again if there were hints from the for that anywhere that would be great. It would be awesome. You could have, you, there's so many, there's like so many like uh, ways, like I, I swear to god, so, sometimes I wish I was a game developer, dude, because then you could just like literally add a hint anywhere in the game, talking about, uh, talking about a buried vampire, or something like that, or a king of rats referencing that, or referencing that, the, the, the gates you have to open, or I don't know, anything, uh, and then you just like pin, or, or, or something like that, uh, at all. Um, <laughs> or the fact that, like, if it was hinted at that it needed the full moon for the sword to be in the, in the, in the, t the, the, the area where it was, awesome. I would have been all for it. Great. If it was hinted at that the uh, way into the life thing on the, like, on the wall was, like, hinted more than, like, a s slight visual thing in an area with a lot of fog, okay, I would, I would, I could have been on for that. But, like, yeah, there, there was no, like... There was all this random random shit that you just had to click arbitrarily to get to the secret endings. And then once you do, uh, that's, you know, whatever. I wonder what your game would look like. It would just, it would just, like, it would, so, like, I just don't think a game should, like, for an ending, uh, or something like that, just rely on, on things that are not in any way hinted at or, or referenced to, where it's just, like, it's a random tunnel anywhere in the game, and you just press, boom. And then this tunnel has like a, a little room, and you press it again, and that's the VHS player. And that like the the VHS you find in the first place is also just like a random wall. You click, you just click a wall, and then it's like, okay, here is the first part of getting the. I got it. I got that shit early. Then you get the first part of a long like sequence of things to get to the final ending of the game. It's just like, ugh. Yeah, so the, the game, but the game is great. The game is awesome. I really loved it. Uh, the, the the combat is fun. The the magic casting is fun. The lore of the game is really cool. Uh, everything is great. It's just this like the secret stuff. I, I I every game. I feel like almost every game when I I play, I feel it like this. Where if some of these things just have had like a reference anywhere else in the game that was like a little bit more easily accessible, then it suddenly suddenly goes from like being a te it's, it's such a it's just nice than day right where like it goes from being this like tedious scavenging hunt where you click your wall into being a thing where you just like look you read books and pay attention to them uh, or like there's somewhere you can read, read like some glyphs that because there's a literal there's a literal gl al alphabet of glyphs in the game you could have had a, a a like rat or something say that they they've like seen something or uh, like just anything dude like there's no there's so many possibilities there's so many possibilities, but like, it's, just, it's just not, like, used. Um, you're explaining Lama Lana, dog. No, I'm explaining a better way to design late game secrets. Like, this is, again, the, this has a core game and it has a post game. The core game is great, the post game is really, like, eh. It had, but it had so, it was such, it was so cool, though. That's, the, but, because the, the, it did it correctly, it did it absolutely correctly when it was, like, when you get to the gate of Tartarus, and you read the book of Abdul. He has four books laying around explaining that, like, he did all this stuff, and that uh, he, he, you know, 
these followers if you're still there you can do this to do this you need to get this item from a god and then one thing i really liked is that the, t the tasks you need to do is this is actually a really cool thing this game though this that i've not seen in these games yet uh it's which is here um have you got the desk okay my thing isn't working hold up a really cool thing this game did dog is here passage the things you need to do to passage right replace a prisoner and an angel Slay a giant of magic, right? And you can cross off, here's a list of things that if you pay attention to the game, you notice that our, our, our angel has, and a prisoner has been replaced. Um, an animal has been has been transmuted into a mass of humanoids in the ballroom. Um, use poison to give separate wills to the brains and bodies and followers. Okay, well, you, because you can read about this in the first area where, where this says that the, bro the brain of the followers crawled out on its own accord. It wasn't carved out. So you know that that someone used poison to separate the wills of the body and the brain, so the brain left. And then, and then you know, okay, well, then Abdul did that, because he is the one who's already left. Okay, it makes sense. And then you, from that on, you can deduct that, well, the thing's left. I probably shouldn't have to do this, because he's already done it. He's already done this. He's Someone that's already done this. Uh, just put the fingers, I don't know about this one, but this obviously not something you can do. Desecrate a shrine to another being, you can do that. Um, several followers in the different plane of existence, ah, probably not. Grant healing blood magic to the one afflicted with, well, uh, which takes it more than it heals? Ah, probably not. But, uh, so what is left then? Well, there's slay giant magic, slay, slay giant magic, there is, um, there's not the soul, so fl flow of souls to the afterlife because you've already met death, uh, and then there's the grass, desecrate the shrine to another being. You can do that because there's a shrine and you can desecrate it. That's it. Now you know, and that's, that's what's really cool. The fact that it gives all of these things and only three of them are doable for you. I think that was really cool. Because you can find the other examples in the game yourself and be like, well, I don't have to do that because it's already been done. Uh, so that's, 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 that's really nice. That's really, and, it's, and, and these enemies are there because Abdul did it. Because he wanted to leave. It was, it was, they are that way for a reason and it's very clear. So it's like it integrates like some part of the world building into the puzzle. And that was, that was awesome. I really like that. But uh, again, to, to, to disrupt the flow of Souls of the Afterlife, you did need to find the Earth Essence, which was a bit, was a bit like, eh. And then you had to find the Broken Sword piece only during a full moon, which is like, which means that this has to be a certain day of the month. Eh, not the best. Eh, that's kind of dumb. Unless, unless, and those two things are weird, unless they are hinted at or referenced at, at at any other point in the game, right? If there's a book talking about some other stuff, but they also mention that, like, you know, it's just about, uh, about the, 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 the broken sword, or talking to an animal tells you about something about the, the, the like, door that's above, no, where no other door in the game has been high up over the ceiling, like, no other door in the entire game, except for a way out of a trap, has been above, like, walking level. Uh... And suddenly there is one for the f like final post game puzzle, which is like, <laughs> good lord. <laughs> Anyways, Puddleland is the most bullshit one. A uh, Puddleland, Puddleland is like an. Uh, it's not a. I wouldn't say Puddleland is like a thing, really. It's just like an extra little shit that. <laughs> shouldn't say that it's just like a little thing that was added it didn't cost much resources to make probably and it's just kind of there for for some reason uh but it's not like a a, a puzzle was ruined it was just like whatever it's not the, it's not a mandatory thing it's not part of a cool like a really cool ending it's like sure it's bullshit but like whatever do you care about spoilers no i'm done with, no, i'm finished with the game now i have i have like everything I've, I've done the thing i wanted to but i just had wanted to like share my thoughts on like the, the post game stuff and some of the main game stuff. Well, like the main game is like what what I I, I really I really really like this stuff. Uh, like uh, end game puzzles and shit. But I've which I've been doing today. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, so that's like what, usually what I focus on when I talk about games like this. There's a weapon you get by staring at the random spot in the library for 15 seconds. <laughs> okay, wow. I'll... That's that's fun. It always feels strange when there's so many possible opportunities to make this such. Hints and such, but that was somehow we come down to random bullshit to go. Yeah, and it's so it's so it's really common too, man. It's really common. We're like, for example, the 15 second staring, like if that was referenced somewhere, great, awesome. But if it's not, then it's like, well, if you want to get to that point in the game, or like it's that's that that's like kind of fine if it's not like required for anything. If it's just like an optional thing that's just kind of there, sure. Fuck it. Why not, right? But if it's uh, if it's a mandatory thing for like an ending or a part of a quest line, it's just like oh you have to stare here or like you have to you have to you have to click this wall. 
that I and it's not hinted at at any point, and you're just like, there's a gigantic wall in front of you, and in one place in that wo world, there's one wall you have to click to to advance the storyline or like your little uh, like side quest to the next part, and th that that that's when I'm like, that's stupid, that's dumb. This game has a lot of secrets that could lead nowhere, like a head, the head in the castle. What head? The head in the castle. Was there a head in the castle? Oh, the 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 whispering head. I mean, yeah, I guess. I I I when I heard that whispering, I was like, sure, this has to be a secret, right? This need this surely is one, but like, that's fine. It is. It doesn't have to be, but it, it it was like a it was a good opportunity to put one, I guess. If anything, it was a good opportunity to put a puzzle. That's that's it. That's it. But other than that, like, yeah, that's fine. I, I didn't mind that that much, but it would have been a nice place to put, put like, if you wanted to put a hint somewhere, you could put it there. I don't know, but it, it could just be like a, a, like a somewhere where I just disagree with developers in general, where like, I feel like if you're gonna add secrets to the game, I think I feel like there's so much cooler if it's something that's like feasible for any player to like, if they pay attention to 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 get right and there were many there were many like opportunities i feel like in this game to, to add stuff like that and also maledictus doing nothing was weird yeah yeah that guy was just there he was just there it, it could have been like cut content or something but yeah or like some like the developer had like a thought about the thing they wanted to add to the game and then they were like nah that kind of sucks let's just scrap it but just keep the, the thing here instead because it's cool like yeah i kind of like, kind of see it uh but like it was something like that like that could have happened but yeah did you figure out the shrine with the book that said the teleport and changing no what, what is that what is the deal with that Does anyone know what the book is about? Or what you have to do there? Because I, I have no idea. You just need to continue going. What? There were... Blue glowing letters indicating north, south and order. What?! On the statue? No shot. Among us. Oh, they're actually glowing there. Fucking barely, though. That's cool, actually. Sure. But it just sucks that I have to, uh... In order to see this, I kind of have to open it in Photoshop and do this. N, N, S, N, S, S, N, S, N, N. North, North, South... North. Okay. Wait a minute, chat. Wait, chat. Oh, this is crazy. What the fuck? Wait, so you're supposed to go to the... So you come in here and you're supposed to go to the right. And that's correct. But here it says that you're supposed to go to the north first. And the north? What? That's where the thing is pointing, like we said earlier. What the hell? What did he mean by this? That is no, this has to be wrong. We're supposed to go this way, right? Because you're supposed to go the north is that way, and that means that west is to that way. Yeah, yeah. Like you guys said. What? What? It didn't work. What do you mean? That's crazy. Okay, let's try. If it's if if it was if let's say I was correct and north is where it's pointing, like it, it's not a fucking uh, compass made by a fuck like a maggot. Oh, it's correct. Wow. North, north. South, North, South,
Oh. You don't get a... You don't, you don't get to read the book? <laughs> I didn't want a fucking serpent fang, I wanted a book! A mysterious crimson blade that resembles the curved fangs of a serpent. Warm to the touch and very heavy for its life. It leaves a trail of crimson miasma when fully charged and does dark damage. Oh my god. Wow. Miasma. Welp. Change the compass. Okay. North is this way. Let's see if I change the compass. Oh, what? Is this north? What do you mean? That's crazy. What? <laughs> but yeah, we got the sword. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's it for the game. Cool game. C good, good game, but I would, uh, if I were, yeah, I would probably adjust the end game sequence to be, uh, like, even remotely accessible unless you lick every wall in the game and, uh, yeah, lick the wall in the game and uh, are lucky enough to, well, I, I did, I did, I changed my computer date because I read the manual and the manual has something to do with, uh, yeah, yeah. With uh, magic is something to do with with the lunar cycle in the real world, so okay, I can change my date and see if something happens. But that it has, to, it could have been any, it could have like it didn't have to be the full moon. It could have been no moon. It could have been crescent moon, waning moon. It could have been so many other moons, and I just happened to choose the right one. I happened to choose full moon, and that was correct. So it's just like, it's not, it's not that I, yeah. If, if there, but if there was, a, if there was a hint to it, it would have been so cool. It would have been so cool, instead of just being a random thing. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna stop coping about it. Uh, I just feel like there was a lot of missed opportunities for post-game content. But overall, the game was really great. It was a great game. Uh, but post-game content, as, as I feel like, I feel like as almost always, man. Except, no, I think, I think Environment Station Alpha. Environmental Station Alpha, man, that is the game that did this the best. If you, if you, if you like secrets like this, yourself, I would definitely recommend Environmental Station Alpha. But that, that is the game that just is the absolute best. Everything is into that. Well, except there's like a few things where you have to just like enter certain rooms that are not visible on the map a couple of times, but yeah. yeah. But that, that's the one that has been the best so far, in my opinion. It's uh, Environmental Station Alpha. Anyways, uh. Thank you for watching, thank you for subs, thank you for the best, thank you for doing this. It's really late now, I'm mega tired for, from a 9 hour stream. It's really post game though, I think the game just loads the last save before the ending. What? <laughs> You've beaten the game, it's post game. <laughs> it doesn't load the last save also, they say that, it, like, it, like Clive himself says that you, ha you have found the old one but you are decided to come back and hang out with them, like, it's, it's post game. They get new dialogue after you beat the game once. And the game says this is not the end, so like, yeah, pause game. But yeah, good night, take care, wake up, love y'all, have a good one, see you, um... Was it Wednesday today? Well, I'm sick, so I'm not gonna be doing much, like... ...of anything, so I might as well just stream with you, dogs. <laughs> oh, and Risk of Rain Return comes out, came, came, came out. Let's play Risk of Rain tomorrow. I definitely wanna give that a shot. Risk of Rain and then maybe some more uh, boogie reacting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. See you then. Have a good, uh... My, my stream doesn't work. What the hell? It's Thursday? No, it's not Thursday. It's Wednesday. Dogs. Wait, is it Thursday? Oh, it is. Lol. <laughs> oh, Wednesday was yesterday. Of course. Lamau. Alright. Well, see you Friday then. See you Friday then. Friday, risk of rain. Bye-bye. <laughs>